Hello, fish friends. <laughs> Welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show. I just dropped something a second, like two seconds before we, we started. I was um, just thinking people have no idea how unorganized we are sometimes. <laughs> so, oh man, like the last um, the last five minutes, both of us have been like running around, haven't we? <laughs> Yeah, just uh, oh, just oh, uh, just doing some of things. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show. Um, today we are going to be talking about who has the best taste in corals. Now, this is a follow up to a video a live stream we did a couple of weeks ago where we did who has the best taste in fish. Remind me who won that one, Ryan. I can't remember. Somehow it was you. I it was me, like, wasn't it? Yeah. I yeah. mean, to, even now, I still feel like I was robbed. Especially on that ras, I showed you like this beautiful yellow and blue ras, and you showed me a black and white one. That's all I so, hear. Even you yourself said my ras was nicer, and you would have picked it if you'd thought of it. <laughs> you do have a nice ras. Well, what can I say? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, all right, so that's what we're going to be doing today. There's a few things to cover first off, and I always do this thing where I say, all right, I'm going to tell you these three things, and then I just start one of them, and I forget. But I'm not okay. going to do. I'm not going to do that this week because I'm a professional. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what should we start with one? <laughs> Let's start with one and see if I remember. So first off is so there's the, the two things are member questions yeah. and um, uh, some news, reefing news. Ooh, exciting. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's a few, just a few bits of news that I, that, that I saw pop up this week that I thought were, were noteworthy. First off is the channel recommendation. I know you won't have um, seen this because you're not a, a, um, a YouTube geek uh, yeah. like I am. But there's a channel, a new channel called Z Burn mm, or Z right Burn if you're if you're American. The, the letter Z and then a new word Burn. Yeah. Um, it, it's a, it's a small channel. I don't know how many subscribers he's got. A few hundred, but he's just a, he's just really interesting. I just I like the way he does his videos. So, so he's like not like us. He's, no, he's, he's actually good. Can you believe oh, that? Well, that's that, that, the hobby needs. Yeah, I should, I should, I should crush him really. Just like email YouTube saying he's he's pirating all the videos and stuff, taking down for his yeah. competition. But he's really good, and I'd thoroughly recommend checking him out. Zed Burn um, is uh, is the name. Um, he's just yeah, he's just setting up a new tank. He's using metal halides. Interesting. A metal halide T five um, combo. He's, but, he's uh, obviously got a lot of ching then. If well, he's, he's obviously not worried about. Those. Oh, he's, not, he's obviously not worried about heat. <laughs> oh. his, his tank's in, in the basement, um, oh, so great. it's uh, for be better heating. So that was the first thing. The sec two other bits of news. There, there's a new piece of equipment, and I know how love how much you love talking about equipment, Ryan. Oh, I love it. So you know there's uh, currently we have an AI Nero 3 and an AI Nero 5 bowhead. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. There's not going to be a 4, is there? There's going to be a 7. Uh -oh. Even better. Why is it going up in... Three, five, seven. Yeah. Um, so the the three, I th so I had looked at it. I, I looked earlier to see what the uh, the flow ratings were. It's assuming the three would be three thousand liters or gallons or whatever, and it's not. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, it's basically small, medium, and large. The yeah. two at the moment that I have both. Actually, I have I have a three on that one, and on my tank to my left, I have four fives. <laughs> um, and I don't find they're that powerful, but they're very subtle and small. Yeah. But the seven on paper was four thousand gallons per hour. Which is is that about sixteen thousand liters per hour? Something like that. I can't I can't do massive math, but um, it's a lot, and it's it's kind of almost the same as the MP40. It's not quite as powerful yeah. as that, and I suspect actually in when when you put it in your tank, it won't be as powerful powerful as your MP40 because the five and the three aren't very powerful. Yeah. But um, it's a it's a new one that's coming out, and it got mentioned on the um, you don't watch the live stream the uh, the re the what's it called reef builders um the podcast they I do. don't know no i can't remember what it's called now but they um the, they mentioned it he was david saxby was on it the other day okay and he, it slipped out and he said oh yeah we've got the ai nero 7 of course and jeremy oh, gay was like what they distribute it don't they <laughs> yeah 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 that's it yeah yeah so there's a seven coming soon hmm. i don't so, think it's not been officially announced anywhere but uh but it got slipped out the other day i was like oh that sounds good so what you're saying is an old man made a mistake and now you're taking advantage of that so you could be the second person to tell everyone <laughs> And now this old man <laughs> is yeah. yeah is passing that information on, um, so I think that's good. I, it'll be cheaper than an MP40. The MP40 is a four hundred quid now. Four hundred quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how much it used to be. Like when they very first came out. I've got a feeling I paid around three hundred, but that was five. Oh, actually no, I bought the first one about six, seven years ago. But um, I can't even remember to be honest. But they are expensive. I would still get them today. I wouldn't get the Nero Seven. Yeah. I think they're the best. 
but the Nero 7 is well I haven't seen it yet of course but I would guess it's nice and slim line yeah um so interesting option like the sound of it uh so there you go so that's the the second thing I wanted to mention in news third new piece of news more equipment more equipment more equipment Ryan you could just contain yourself I know you're excited. oh sorry sorry I just uh oh, yeah I, okay let's go more equipment so I mean, you, you, told me. you you tricked me into this stream. You were like, hey, come, let's talk about Carl. I'm like, yeah, Carl. And you're like, let's talk about equipment. Oh, pumps. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this is actually, you told me about this new piece of equipment. GHL uh, have brought out or are bringing out, I don't know if they're available yet, oh, the a return dozer. pump. No, 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 oh, no. Yeah, a return yeah, pump yeah, yeah. and a powerhead. And yes. I've, I've had a look at them. I don't know if they're available as yet. Um, they might be, but they might not. But if they're not, they're on their way out. They're on their website. Yeah, yeah. And they are. They're basically they're seat shape. They're rebranded seat shape pumps from the looks of it. Um, they look exactly like the seat shape powerhead and the seat shape return pump, which is yeah. no bad thing because seat shape. I don't like the look of the powerheads. I think they look a little bit funny, but the return pumps are solid as hell, uh, and they've got five year warranty. So, what's not to love? And the, and the, the seat it's just the seat shape return pumps is what Red Sea are using in their um, their latest round of stuff as well. So yeah, CJ yeah. have obviously decided, you know what, let's um let's out we'll do the hardware, you do the software or whatever. And yeah. Whatever it is. So another option. Options are always good. Options so, are always good. But there you it's go. interesting because Red Red Sea obviously have they their powerhead was made by Max Spec or made with Max Spec. Yes, correct. And then well, yeah. CJ made the return pump as well. So, so I, I, yeah. I, I talked to um uh, to Red Sea about their uh, their Jaya, yeah. and I think I can't remember exactly what they said, but basically they took the they took the design for Maxpect, as in <laughs> not not stole it. They were given yeah, it. Yeah. You know, they, they spoke to them about, it. Yeah, yeah. And then they they made a load of adjustments. So they got the kit. The head designer, yeah, it, uh, he's quite clever with these things, and he put in things like damp rubber damping and loads of little clever things, making yeah, yeah. The, making the rotors easier to take out and all that sort of stuff. So that is one thing Red Sea do really well, uh, I think. But anyway. Um, yeah, so there you go. New GHL powerheads and return pumps to look out for. Very exciting. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, you can just tell I'm, over, I'm just thrilled. You're, you're like, don't care. <laughs> um, go on. I don't need a new return pump. That's the thing. If, I've got, if, I, if I needed a new one, I'd be excited, but I don't. Yeah. So, well, yeah, even though, even though I thought, can you get excited? Even if you needed a new return pump, would you get excited about it? No. No. I, I, I might do, but probably not that excited. No, no, it's not just that, that pump. I'm not excited about any pumps. <laughs> no, I, this is true. I, as long as they work, I, the only thing I'm interested, I, as I said to you earlier, I'm not even interested in aquascaping, really. I, the only thing I like is the livestock. That's that's the yeah. thing for me. <laughs> Uh, so. And yeah, the, yeah, this, which is the best thing to be. And uh, UK120 says Saxby looks slightly confused after saying it, although they should, uh, should hang on, although they, they, <laughs> Although they should have all... already been released by now. Yeah, he looked like, because Jerry Gay was like, oh, is that an exclusive? And Saxby was like, what do you mean? <laughs> so uh, it was, I think it just slips out. But um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Uh, and Les says, oh, no, no, someone's, oh, no, no, you were talking about it. Okay, fine. Right. So, uh, so that is the news. News is done. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Sonny Gould says, those CJ returns look incredible and also alert you if the power goes out. Think the GHL do too. Yeah, we'll see interesting stuff because basically the options at the moment really the most popular ones are uh reef octopus uh ecotech or jekon yeah. <laughs> those are the the, the big three yeah, i yeah. would say that 90 percent of sales must be to those three i would guess um nothing wrong with any of them <laughs> to be fair no nope. uh, so it's not like you're going to go out and uh, replace one uh, because the new one's coming out but anyway um all right so that's news done and i've remembered member questions as well i was gonna say i've actually wrote member questions down to remind you yeah and uh, so what I, what I intended to do was uh copy and paste them onto um uh, onto the banner uh so i could uh, I, I could post them whilst i read them out but i forgot yeah. to do that so what i've been doing is whilst i've been talking i've typed up there we go look at that yes oh so professional right i'm impressed um, yeah. <laughs> so this is this is from Tomo Bish Bosch, uh, who I think is actually just okay. at Tom, but it for whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, are there any tips on how to isolate corals to rocks? Also, what are the best ways to attach frag plugs, or if possible, not to have ugly frag plug rock uh, on your rock work? Ryan. Uh, best place, best way to isolate corals is literally on a on a separate rock. 
a lot of people think you can isolate Xenia. You cannot isolate Xenia. Yeah. It lets go and then roams around, mm. and then it'll, it'll you'll find it tucked away somewhere, growing somewhere new. So Same as if, you think, if you think you're the one person who's special that can isolate Xenia, you're wrong. Because I thought that I could do it at one point, and it is not possible. You can isolate clove polyps. You can isolate um, green star polyps. Even um, sort of uh, like encrusting gorgonians, you can you can isolate with a rock, but it doesn't necessarily have to be on the sand by itself. But as long if the rock's high enough off the other rocks, and you keep an eye on it, and then you just move it. Um, I know you say zoa spread around. I've ne I don't really have that. They sort. don't always, but they, they absolutely can do. And I have utter chaos in my main tank. Yeah. I find they just pop off the rock I've isolated them on. And every now and then I'll see a little patch over the other side of the tank. And it's like, oh. yeah, yeah. So they, they can do they, they don't do it as much. Yeah. Um, as Cassini is a nightmare for it, but they, they can do. And with regards to the second um, part of the question, uh, with best ways to attach frag plugs, I don't ever have any frag plugs in any of my display tanks ever. I hate frag plugs. I hate anything that doesn't look normal, basically. <laughs> so, I will show you the best way to attach frag plugs to oh, your rock work. There you go. Buy one of these aquascapes. There you go. That's true. So this, this is my aquascape. I bought this. This arrived about a month ago, and I've only just put it in my water box tank today. Uh, yeah, today. Yeah. Um, and that's what it looks like. Oh, yesterday. Anyway, don't matter. <laughs> is that specifically um, your one? Yeah, that, that, is, that is my exact one. And so, it, and he, he, you ask him to make frag plug holes in it, and then yeah. you just pop them in. It's so good. It's so, so yeah. good. They're expensive. I the only problem remember. is, like, you have to, and until you fill every single hole, <laughs> it looks like it's not filled. If you see what I mean. <laughs> but like, I'm looking at it now. You can't, you can't see them. They, oh, you don't, you don't, they don't stand out. No, and at the moment it's really white. The rock, but it'll, it, in time it'll get covered in algae. Um, but they're just wicked. And also, if you've got a coral that you put in the wrong place, you pop yeah. it out and move it. It's not. It's yeah, not yeah, that, down. yeah. No, look, it's a brilliant idea. I am. Um, I, 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 what do you mean, but? Why you say? Well, oh, you I was going to say. No, no, no. What I was going to say is it, it is great, but if you don't have that, you can't do yeah. it. So it's, yes. it's put, that's that's bad advice for ninety nine percent of people because it doesn't doesn't apply. Well, um, anyway, so now we're going to give the advice that people can actually use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can, you can. Yeah, cool. I never ever use putty. I only ever use a mm. coral glue. Um, what I usually try to do is. If it's something, so if, it, if it's an SPS frag or something with a, with a branch on it, like a torch coral or something like that, I will find a place on the rock work which has like a ledge on it and then stick the coral behind the ledge. So the, so it's poking out and you can't see where you've stuck it down. And I okay. do it with glue. The other option is to fill a hole with glue and then puncture the glue that's in the hole so that it, uh, yeah, like, yeah. You understand Releases what I'm trying to say. The, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. And the sticky it, area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So those are the two things I do. You can actually put Ecotex glue in the tank itself. You can put the whole bottle in and squirt it into a rock. The problem with that is if you let if, go, if you let go, you're sucking water back into the bottle, and then you ruin the the stuff. Let me see. So I've got super glue. What what brand is this? I think this is Polyp That's Lab. Polyp Lab, isn't it? Polyp Lab, yeah. So this stuff, I really, oh god, it's even focused. There you go. So yeah. I really like this because it comes in these tiny. You get like a like a, a tub yeah. of about thirty of these. I think if you just want the cheapest, this isn't the cheapest. Yeah, but they're not that expensive. You get a load of these. They're only small. They yeah. last quite a long time. But at yeah. the end of the day, if like if the if the end dries over doesn't matter you just yeah, yeah. whereas if you if you had like a big ecotech one yeah you don't want that to dry over so i really like those personally i the the reason <clears throat> i like the ecotech ones is because they're more of a gel some like super glues are really like liquidy and those ones don't yeah, work yeah. at all no, whereas no, no. the, the ecotech has to one, be gel it has to be like a gel um and, so, and you, so if you just buy normal super glue from your hardware shop hardware yeah. store it has to be cyanoacrylate super clear. yes yeah cyanoacrylate gel anything that is cyanoacrylate gel yeah is what you want do you know what it, i did once what? i accidentally i don't know how this happened i squeezed the bottle and it shot i was obviously doing frags on the on yeah. like the the rim of the of the tank and somehow i squeezed the bottle and it shot super glue like a lot and the super glue just floats on top of the tank yeah, going crusty. like go, yeah yeah <laughs> And then you have to, and then I remember putting my hands in it to try and get it out as quickly as possible because I, I didn't know what was happening. I, I didn't know like what it was going to do. And the fish <laughs> were trying to eat it. So oh, it's like, no. 
I had a copper band bite a frag plug that I just super glued in place once. Got his mouth stuck together. I've had it, it, I've, I've had fish. Uh, Yellow Tang did did that. Yeah, he managed They're to like, shake it off. Yeah, they do. Tank, and he did it really quickly. I think if he'd if he'd have left it, or if he yeah. didn't do it instantly, he would have been screwed. But um, <laughs> there's a there's a really weird story. My my, it's, this isn't about that, but my when you said about it, it got out. My purple Tang, the one I've still got, mm-hmm. had something hanging out of it out of its bum oh, right. <laughs> it was plastic <laughs> it was plastic and i caught the fish and pulled it out i still to this day don't know what it was but imagine how long that plastic could have been this was a long <laughs> time ago um but it was it was just hanging out of it for like a couple of days maybe it wanted it there and I you just... pulled it out and it was like oh mate <laughs> maybe. I was <laughs> maybe uh we'll move My on family that made fun of me for that for ages yeah, i should hope so <laughs> Uh, whatever you get up to in your uh, private time is up to you. Yeah. It's fine. Um, so there's that one. And then the next question. Oh, look at that. I've done it as well. How clever is that? Uh, could you recommend some nice softies with lots of movement? This is BN3 reefing. We'll come back to this one later because um, it, that, that's basically, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it when we're talking about our um, our favorite corals. Yeah. Because I don't, don't want to cross over there. And then a final question was from Tyler Evans, 2691. He says, do I need more than one reef led 90 over a Red Sea reefer? BRS videos have me thinking uh, uh, I should get two or or add fill lights. And I really wanted to answer this one. So I answered it in the, in the chat. It yeah. depends what tank you've got. A Red Sea yeah. reefer, what? I think, I, I assume it's a Red Sea reefer 250. If it's yeah. a 170, one reef led 90 is fine. Yeah. If it's a 250 you're pro- or a 300, You'll probably want two, yeah. And and then you know if it was a four footer, maybe three. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, but uh, fill lights. This is so the, the video that Bio did recently saying um, how good fill lights are and all that sort of stuff. I totally agree. I absolutely love fill lights, and I've got a blanket, a complete blanket of lighting covering my entire tank. And I have done. I've had for years in one way or, or another. Yeah. It's great. But I've got an Aquapora dominated tank. Yeah. Okay, and it it's it still I would still ideally on my new LPS tank I would ideally have a load of light, load of a, an additional fill light, but you really don't need it. You do not need it. So okay. I just wanted to to say it's great, and it, I I agree with what BRS is saying, but don't think oh god I need I need fill light, and that if I get fill light that's going to solve all my problems. It's not. <laughs> um. So there you go, and that was all the member questions I remembered. How's that? Well done. Thanks. The only thing I wanted to mention just very briefly um, mm-hmm. is I wanted to publicly say thank you to you uh, because uh, what happened well, a couple of days ago, a empty envelope, not an empty envelope, oh, an, un, yeah. an, un, uh, like it, an envelope that came from no one, basically, <laughs> just turned up with a razor blade in it, which I assume was a thinly veiled threat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> from from someone that watches the channel but it actually ended up being from alex because i mentioned in the last live stream that i'm going to be cutting a part of the sump out so alex very kindly sent me a razor blade but didn't tell me who it was from <laughs> <laughs> well i would say it wasn't just a razor blade it was the red sea battle oh, removal kit one, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 it's even it, it's even got a bend in it from where you used it. <laughs> I know. Well, but yeah. I try to remove there there are rails on a Red Sea Reef for sump that yeah. you put the auto top off reservoir on. You know them? Yeah. And I tried to remove them, but they're so close that you could I couldn't do it. But so I so I, I screwed it. But there, there are a couple of different blades in there. The one thing yeah. I forgot, they they also include a little scraping thing that you can scrape off excess silicon. And yeah, I forgot to send that. I just found it. <laughs> I because because it's like a point, isn't it? I wasn't really sure. I'll, I'll work out how it works, but I they've done sure. a video on it. If you they... go on the Red Sea channel and they've done a video on it, it's it looks really easy. And I spoke yeah. to them, they uh, when I spoke to them about it, they told me that they gave it to someone in the office who yeah. was rubbish at that sort of thing and said yeah. he did it in like 10 minutes. So you're telling me I'll be fine because I'm rubbish at everything. <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know. It's, I mean, if you want to read into what I'm saying, then yeah, um. Yeah. So there you go. So that's the uh, the admin, early early stream admin done. Yeah. Where's my cat? He's I can hear him. Um, so there we go. Uh, hang on a second. Someone's having dreams. Anton Tar. Sometimes I have dreams that there is a huge stony coral taxonomy overhaul, and Favia is split into Diptastria and Anomastria. Anomastria is a, a, an existing genus for some reason. I, I just saw the word I, dreams and I, I posted I, I, it. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but 
I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Jamie Reef just said, I bet Ryan doesn't do it himself in terms of like taking the weird box out because Jamie's the one who did all the um, the adjustments to the cabinet. It looks, I can't wait for the next video that I'm going to put out because Jamie has done an absolutely brilliant job uh, at putting uh, plug sockets inside the cabinet because there's like a dry section. Mm -hmm. um, and he's also put a LED light in there. And he's drilled a hole through for the automatic water changes. So... I am. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, sorry, we've gone off track, haven't we? We we have. There's a couple more things I want to post. Okay. Your thoughts on using query stones? Have you got any idea what a query stone is? I have no idea what that is. The silent one, I don't know uh, what what a query stone is. And the other question, very quickly, does anyone know what skimmer is quieter, a nice Quantum 120 or a Deltic 400i? I've had both. The NIOS at first was silent. Yeah. But over time, because it's an AC pump, they do get buzzy, I find anyway. And the Deltec is the DC pump. So I've, and I have that on my tech now in my home office. So it has to be silent. I can't cope with noise. Yeah. There is some noise. It's not completely silent. You can hear it. But on most tanks, like on my tank downstairs, I have a Deltec 600i and I can't hear it because there are some buzzing noises from yeah, other yeah. things. Um, so, but either will probably be pretty quiet. I would go for the Deltec because it's got a DC pump, but there you go. Quarry stones. Oh, right. As in stone from a quarry. No, that's someone else. I, I got no idea. We've talked, check your phone. That's the reason I don't use Stanley blades anymore. Check your phone. Oh, right. <laughs> you got my number. <laughs> oh. I like how you and Les are just having like a little private chat. You know, I'm just sitting here watching you read your phone. I reckon well, it's, it's going to be a, a cut of hand. It's come up with a, a phone number that's not in my uh, my my phone, so I didn't know. It must be from an I sold you coral. But yeah, this is uh, this is what his photos that you sent me. Oh, oh. Uh. No. Les, yep, I, don't I now definitely it. won't be doing it. Jamie, I've just something to add to the list for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's really nasty cut. That is. You, that looks like oh. you know an inch, to, an inch, uh, another direction, and we might have had to uh, get a different moderator. <laughs> true, true. Um, so you got to think about me next time you're doing that, Les. Got to be a bit more considerate. So <laughs> you're not overly worried about a new presenter, though, are you? You'll just find someone else. I'll find another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Loads, they're everywhere. Ten a penny. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Liz, you have my sympathy. That looks. Joking aside, Liz. that's a nasty. Just call him Liz. <laughs> I got. I've got. I, I could do this at work. I call my uh, my team. I I, I use. I interchange their names. I call them different names. Uh, oh, it's just. It's like it's a. It's a. It's a family thing. Like if I go within five miles of my uncle, my dad starts calling me Rob. Nice. <laughs> so, but Liz, and your yeah. uncle's not even called Rob, is he? No, he's called, uh, uh, well, no, he is. I just couldn't think of a different name. Peter, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there we go. Actually, just very quickly, you got new fish, didn't you, you said today, but we didn't. We ran out of time at the very start of, yeah. oh, was that a secret? No, no, it's not. I got four new fish today. Oh, what were they? And, and a fifth yesterday. Um, oh, look at you, like, you like splashing the cash. I know, right? So I got, um, I got uh, two blue stripe uh, pipe fish. Okay, tiny yeah. little things, yeah, tiny, yeah. tiny things. Yeah. With the yellow, like on uh, orangey kind of yeah. color. I mean, I'm colorblind, aren't I? So who knows? Might That's true. Be... <laughs> it could be yeah. green. I know. It could be purple. <laughs> yeah. um, I got two of them. Uh, I got two Bangai Cardinals. Yeah. And then yesterday I got a fox face. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, this, is all, this is all for the water box, 150 litre, 55 yeah. gallon. When, when's gallon. the fox, fla fox face police coming then? Uh, well, you know, that's, and the other, I'm putting a tang in there tomorrow as well. Nice. <laughs> I've got, nice. I've got, so I had all a in a couple of days of each other as well. Oh, well, it gets worse. So I had a Tommy tang in there and two Springer's damsels. I stripped the whole thing down to put that aquascape in. Yeah. Uh, so I, I took the fish out whilst I was there because the, they've been fine. Yeah. But I just thought if I put fish in with two Springer's damsels, are they going to be aggressive towards them? Yeah. probably not but i don't want to risk it so i took them back to the shop the yeah. tommy tang as well i took him out because i was thinking he'll probably be fine but i just don't want to risk yeah. it so um so i've taken him out and he's currently in a, a brute trash can with some live rock a heater and a power head next no. to me so yeah. when he's had some time to think about what he's done he's going to go in uh probably tomorrow and then he'll be he'll get in and like all of the rocks have gone yeah all of the, every, everything's different he's going to be like where am I? This isn't my territory. Oh, yeah. there's a yellow fox face. It must be his territory. I'll leave him alone. That's yeah, my yeah. theory. I might be overthinking it. <laughs> be interesting to see what happens. It'll just it'll just kill everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but there you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. 
we've only been talking for 25 minutes and uh, we haven't started yet so let's get stuck in to uh well go on you've got something to say no no what category are we starting soft lps or sps yeah so uh i i'd done it in let's go let's go let's start what do you want to start with Does, it doesn't matter let's go with soft corals oh god soft corals i was going to start with sps all right oh, we haven't clarified the rules have we no so, this is there, there so, are no rules like fight well, no <laughs> to some extent there are rules because we we had a discussion and the these are the corals that we actually like. We're not trying yes. to win. Yeah. We're trying because, for example, I know from the sales from the website, and, and Alex knows as well, that torch corals, for example, would be the most popular LPS coral. People mm -hmm. are crazy for them for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Alex also doesn't get it. Neither of us particularly like torch corals, I don't think. I mean, you, ha you had a couple, didn't you? I kind of get it, but I've I've gone off them. So I, the, the the really gold, the proper gold torches. I don't mean Aussie gold torches. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean dragons. I'll leave the ones that are proper, like bright yeah, yellow yeah. gold color. They yeah. look awesome. I really like yeah, them. The white tips, but they're yeah. like a they're well, what any tips? But they're, they're like a thousand quid each, and they're crazy. I just can't do that. Yeah. Um, but the the other ones, ah, they I've got. I've got three in my water box, and I'll keep them in there. I bought them now already. Yeah. Um, but I fragged. I had a. a dragon soul colony that i yeah. fragged down into four uh, four frags i'm going to sell three off yeah um and i just i'm not really they're, they're okay but i like they're not they're not the best coral in the world and i don't i don't i'm with you i don't really i was i kind of i dip my toe in the water but i don't yeah. really get it i don't there, there are a couple like the really bright like they're called holy moly or holy grail or some nonsense yeah, yeah. Name. they are nice but they're so expensive that you'd be you're crazy to buy one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, especially as a torch coral, they have a habit of just randomly dying. Well, that's the um, other thing. Yeah, and and th yeah, these mine aren't doing that great, but they've 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 recovered. Actually, one of them's doing fine. Anyway. But yeah, that's oh, yes. the thing. It's, yeah, I was, I was gonna say that. So we're not going to try and win. No, we're not. Trying we're going to for what we actually like. Exactly. So. Ooh. All right, so we'll kick off. You want to do softies first, didn't you? Softies. Yeah, let's go soft coral. Soft All right. coral first. So, and the rules are so the, the, we've not really got proper rules, but the rules are um, we're going to choose three from each category. So three, three softies, three LPS, three uh, SPS. Yeah, and we have to pit them against each other. And if uh, if we both say the same thing, then we just switch them around. So if we both say zoas, you can have zoas, and I'll put it up against something else, and then I'll use zoas later on. If you see what I mean? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. I didn't realize that's what we we're doing because I've only got two for some of them, but I'll think of some more. So, <laughs> oh, he's, he's not, he doesn't care about you guys. I he didn't do it. my homework, but neither did you. <laughs> I, well, I've actually, no, I did. I thought I hadn't, but I'd, yeah. I'd written anyway. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> I had. Have you, got, have you got three for miscellaneous? Oh, no, is that, there's one for miscellaneous. Oh, yeah, I've only got one for miscellaneous. Yeah, Fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, the, so that's the other thing. There's a miscellaneous category, an open category. You can say anything you want, basically, as long as it's not fish <laughs> or a yeah. shrimp or whatever. Um, so soft corals. Ryan, kick us off. What's your first soft coral? I'm going to go uh, with discosoma or mushroom corals, but the Ooh. the flat okay. ones. So not, not, the, not the redactus. Redactus are nice. And humors are also nice, um, but I'm going for uh, discosomas uh, because they come in such a wide range of colors, and um, because they, yeah, they're nice basically, and they're 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 a, they're a beginner coral, and I sell them, <laughs> so people love them. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so this is an I, advert for prestigereef.co.uk, no, no, the UK's number I one coral selling website. Based on the ones I can sell, so I sell them, so I'm happy with them. And yes, some people are going to say. They are a mushroom, and technically they are a mushroom, but I asked Alex if that Anonymity. was part of the rules at the beginning. Oh, no, yeah, sorry, and an enemy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Alex said they were fine to be classified as a soft coral. Well, zoas aren't corals. Are they not? No, someone told me that in the comments the other day, and I was like, nah, mate, you're talking rubbish. I Googled it. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I thought you were so clever then. I was like... No, 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 no. I've got, come on. <laughs> I was like, wow, how do you know that? And I don't know that, but you only found out last week. Oh, it was a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, I, I had no idea, and I was I, I thought it was rubbish, and I can't it's a nidarian or something. I can't anyway, I don't matter. Know. Um, but yeah, so all right, so you're going with discosoma mushrooms. Yeah, look at oh, you are oh, so oh, awful. God, that's no, rubbish. Show an that. electus, show an electus or a monster. That's, 
That is a Lectus. That is no, a that's a thousand pound no, Lectus. No, like, so you get bright green ones, bright blue ones, bright red ones. So I'll, I'll just go back to that because actually this is so I've got I've also drawn up a list of cars I really don't like, and this yeah. is one of them. I these standard discosomas that are either blue or red or green, yeah. and they're always a manky color green. They're cheap and they're they're the sort of the first coral that you buy. Coral in the book. Yeah, they're the first coral you buy. The one of the first corals I bought because yeah. you're like, what's hardy? Mushroom, wicked. I'll have one. And they're just, they're boring. They sting other corals. They spread like crazy. <laughs> well, now now show a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. Oh, I see. Now we're moving the goalposts. He's no, realised that he's no. onto a loser, guys. No, look. Now that, if you, when people come yeah. to the coral farm and that's they right. see that, that's <laughs> the thing. Of Everyone goes, wow, look how bright that coral is. Yeah, and even, like, even probably you as well <laughs> when you came. So... It, actually so that that is that i would i would have if that was a sensible price the one because you've got a couple of these if they were yeah. sensible prices i'd buy one but i guess yeah. they probably won't be <laughs> oh so once again you're telling me that the the car i've picked after you just tried to bash it and show a really really shit picture of the blue one <laughs> well i'm saying the coral that you've picked at the second time of asking when you realize you're about to lose so no because i said discosoma i did a whole a whole um yeah electus mushroom kryptonite ones you get Iron Man's, or you get loads of different ones. Oh, I see. So it's it's thirty five corals that you're choosing. Right. Oh, I didn't. Well, okay. Oh, let's. If I'm only picking. One no, no, no. If you need coral, to cheat to win, yeah. so, I can tell well, it hurt last. That time, means if so. you, all right, all right, you're gonna you if you're gonna pick Zoas, then you get one Zoa. <laughs> no, I'm, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, all right, okay. In which case, I'll I'll back off because I'm about to shoot myself in the foot there. So I'm not going to pitch Zoas against those corals though, against mushrooms. What I am going to, if I can find, where's my video of it? I feel like you have an advantage now because you have three to select from to try to beat my one. <laughs> I'm. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, I do. Uh, Pulsing Xenia. <laughs> oh, God. Are you serious? You don't. 100% <laughs> serious. That's one of the corals you love. Yeah. Why? But you wouldn't have it. I have had it. I, in yeah. fact, I was thinking recently and I decided against it yeah uh, but i was thinking recently about um oh is this going to work out let's change you it. should put I it was... in, the, in the water box you could put one frag of it in each one of those holes <laughs> i i wasn't thinking about putting it in the water box there yeah, look at that oh yeah yeah that's nice but no it's just plain plain pink color like a minute ago you should showed me a blue a blue mushroom and then you've put it up against a very beige pink coral it's doing that all day long ryan not all, actually they often stop doing that yeah if you've got rubbish water is that is that the reason i don't know mine never stopped um if you turn, even if you turn the floor off they sit there doing that like you yeah, had yeah. posted a video the other day it was in you put it in a frag pot in a bag and it was still yeah. doing that <laughs> yeah did i show you a picture I don't, yeah that is true i don't video. remember posting a video though um but that so I, but I just i absolutely love pulsing Z. and i was thinking of putting i've got an island over here on on the fluval evo this yeah. island and i was thinking of putting xenia on that yeah and actually uh, and i was aware that it was it can spread and all that sort of stuff and the only reason i decided against it was because when i do these live streams the light is normally quite blue by this time yeah. in the evening so it won't look quite so spectacular <laughs> yeah yeah it's true actually because then if you've got a few green corals in there that pop in the background people had to see them because at the moment yeah. it just looks like an empty tank with rocks well, in it. <laughs> there are there are other cars in there, and I've, I've. But the trouble is, so the lighting in here is quite strong, so it kind of it washes that out a little bit. But anyway, do you know what you need? You need one of those really bright jawbreakers. <laughs> is what you need. But you, you've got one of them, and I would like one. But I'm guessing, how, how much would you sell it for? Uh, if it's uh, the Electus ones, I think they're 150. The oh, no, sorry, Electus. Yeah, they're 150. But I've is, got I've I've got one really that, really nice. Is that one. this one? No, it's not quite as nice as that. But is that is no, that, so, that kind of so color? Red and gold. Eclectus is a gold, and jawbreakers are more orange, um, and orange and red. So it's hard to tell with pictures. I think that's a jawbreaker. I think it is. It says it's there. Yeah. Yeah, but you get more. The Electus ones are more. Oh, sorry, Eclectus ones are more goldy and red. 
you you were right first time electors um okay i all right fair enough so we anyway we'll discuss that later because this is, <laughs> i'm just negotiating a purchase now but i didn't so, know that why well, who well, wants I'm, to buy it out of, out of alex's <laughs> like grip don't go on the website's down don't buy it don't go on it <laughs> it's not on the website anyway i know no i've had a look a couple of times um which do you prefer so i'm putting in uh, elect am i putting in electrus electrus mushrooms or just mushrooms you how can much just... do you want to cheat no why do you want a specific one? Because I'm going to win either way. Which I want. I want you. To oh, tell I might me not win either. Actually, what you go want go to for an eclectus. The yeah, go for an eclectus. Much electus. Electus. Ask That's your it. community. There you go. I have posted. I know you're going to cheat and vote for yourself. No, I can't. I, don't, uh, I can't even vote. You can. You just need to open up a separate YouTube tab. Uh, but you know, oh. I don't go on your channel. Wow, it's a strong start for mushrooms. Is it? Really strong start. Okay. Well, because everyone so hates Xenia. <laughs> Yeah, I, but that's the thing. I, I love it and I hate it. <laughs> um, it's this one, actually. This is the one you've got. This Jawbreaker one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, they're is more that, gold. They're more gold. Expensive. Colored. Yeah, that's the well. That's the one that's one hundred and fifty. Oh, okay. I'll pay that. Anyway, nice. <laughs> I mean, sorry, that is one that is two hundred and fifty. Yeah, <laughs> reef dog tax. Yeah. Um, oh man, seventy-five votes for a start. Two hundred twenty-six people watching. Wicked. Thanks, guys. Uh, good to see a, a big turnout today. But the bad news is, all the people who have come along tonight hate pulsing Xenia. Oh yes, I can vote now. <laughs> oh, you don't need to. To be honest, it's not no. even close. Um, but yeah, so this is this, and the thing is, and I've said this before. Any time I talk about pulsing Xenia, I do love it, but I also hate it <laughs> because it's just so difficult. Yeah. Well, it just takes over. But just, oh, I just, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. All right. Well, it's off to a bad start. 90 votes. I'm going to end the poll there. 91 votes. Wow. 90%. Oh, 86% uh, voted for mushrooms. Ah, oh, that hurts. Are you keeping track of this? Are you well, can make down the scores? I, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I can keep the score. I'm actually trying to find some a, a picture because I know what my last soft coral is going to be, because we're doing quite specific corals now, I, now that I, I'm, I know what it's going to be. But there's almost no pictures of it. I almost think the piece I have is basically one of a kind. Okay. And, but, it, it, so this uh, is, it, send it to me on email so I can put it up on the screen properly, and yeah, I, will tell you, I will tell you what my um, next choice is in that case, uh, uh, because whilst you're doing that. And my next choice is Green Star Polyps. <sighs> What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Well, I'm going to go for Zoas for this one because I can't. I need to get the oh, last true. one up. Okay. So, but, which but which, which Zoas? Oh, do I, do I, do I have to pick least. a very specific one? Uh, you, you, I'll let you do. You can either say all Zoas or I'd better to choose one because then I can. No, pick I'll it pick one because it's, it's more fair. Yeah. Uh, the the pink diamonds sell really well. People love pink diamond Zoas, where they're sort of like bright pink. With, with little white dots in the center of them and a gold edge around the outside. Oh, first off, though, look, look at that green star polyp, man. That actually, is actually, oh, yeah. uh, no, I'm going to check. Utter Chaos is the one that, that's, oh, that is the best selling coral. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, Utter Chaos. Uh, Zoa. Okay. And let's go for that. So I'm using eBay photos. So uh, you know that it's not, not nothing like what the actual coral looks like. <laughs> No offense, eBay sellers, um, but these photos are both a little bit polished, I would respectfully suggest. Um, but anyway, Articaris is a lovely coral, and I would, uh, Royal Reef, it says itself, I would happily buy that. It's still a lovely coral, so not slagging you off. Please don't hate me. Um, but so these are the choices then, basically Green Star Polyp or Utter Chaos Zoas. This means I've got to choose a different zone. That's a shame. Articaris is one of my favourites. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Well, you can go for pink diamonds if you want. <laughs> I've got the only the only thing I'll say about um, utter chaos is that they do pop. If you try to isolate them, they pop off rocks and then they take over. So, if you voted for if you voted against pulsing xenia, really, you should be voting against utter chaos. So it's. No, no, hardly. I feel like I feel like you've been like getting away with this because I've been looking on my phone to try and find a picture. I've just emailed you, but I've emailed you. That's the closest I can get to the one I've got. But that one in that picture is like this big. Like, have you seen the picture I've sent you? No, oh, I'm laughing because Pelagic Swimmers posted a comment that I've got to approve because YouTube's blocked it. Oh, he's caught, he's I just utter, utter, shit. <laughs> utter chaos. He says utter shit. <laughs> I think that I do think they're nice and they do they do have like they're one of those corals where you can see them from a long way away. 
I'm really, yeah, really, completely. really, really hoping, like more than anything, that the angelfish won't eat zoas. <laughs> I think yeah. there's a high chance that it will. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. But I'm, I'm just hoping so much because that gives me at least some variety. Um, if if I can, if it doesn't eat zoas. Yeah. But I've, oh, I've wow. just, oh, did you see the picture of it? Is that your photo? No, so that that's a small so. version. That's about oh. that big. That picture, isn't it? That's a good photo. That is. The yeah, one yeah, that, it is. The one that I have at the farm is like this big. I didn't. Um, okay, fair enough. I'm not joking. Every time someone sees it, they go, "Oh my god, what is that?" Because it looks almost like it's a torch coral. It's that well, sort of bright yeah. color. I'm not. I'm not going to. The, the suspense must be killing people because we're yeah. just talking about this, and, we, and only only I can. Oh, you Let's keep going. It, but... <laughs> but we we are going to keep going because I need to pitch for Green Star uh, Pollux a bit because I'm losing 66% uh, in favour of Utter Chaos. Uh, and uh, there's not, the Utter, in my opinion, Utter Chaos is a hardier coral than Zoas. Is that fair? Is a hardier coral than Zoas? Yeah, Zoas, Zoas are Star more Pollux. Green Star Pollux. Zo uh, Zoas, including, yeah. including Utter Chaos, are more likely to melt and die for no reason than Utter Chaos. Utter, uh, sorry. Yeah, the green, yeah. Than GSP, green Keep stuff like. the same thing. I know. Sorry, GSP. Well, I what the one I like is more likely to be tough. And the worst thing that happens to a GSP yeah. is all the polyps go in, and you just see the purple mat for a couple of weeks. Yeah, that is true. And then, and then, if you sort your your issues out, your water quality out, it comes back out again. Whereas with zoas, they can melt. And if you only buy a single polyp zoa from yeah. some unscrupulous online seller, never buy. I mean, look, don't get it wrong. I I do have single polyp zoas, but and it's it's one of those ones where i might frag 10 single polyps and five of them survive so it's always better to frag to, to, to buy multiple of them but people still want to buy singles i know yeah and yeah and I, yeah I, I do sometimes as well but then they're much more likely to melt and die so now i've pitched for for that's the reason you should vote for green star polyps sunny gold just so you know you are wrong i'm afraid uh have you have you been to the farm or have you just seen no, that I from think the, video? In the czech republic oh so okay yeah, so, yeah, yeah so so, from your video. i do have a very very bright green cabbage coral but you get a lot of bright green cabbage corals so this isn't one of those i think i'm not i don't think so we've had 100 votes so far but i don't think i'm going to go for what the, the the vote says i think what i'm going to do <laughs> okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick two comments at random completely from completely at random from the chat <laughs> Yeah. And we'll we'll go on that as the vote. So one in your uh, in favour of your comment in your coral it just says yeah. utter shit. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Yeah. I see what you're not, doing it. That's not very good. And then the other random uh, uh, thing that I will um, I will post up says love GSP. Used to have it covering the base of my uh, tank like gra grass until I fragged it. So which yeah. of those? I ah oh, that's backfired because now uh, GSP's one. So uh what a shame. What? Uh, oh no. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but uh, of course, I'm not going to cheat the system. I'm going to end the poll there. 112 votes. Ryan wins two in a row. What's two in a on? row. That's two for me. Oh, man. Yeah, but so, this happened last time. This happened last time when um, I was like three ahead or something, wasn't I? And then all of a sudden, you just sweeped me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I thought, no, it was the other way around. Anyway, so 58% said utter chaos. There was. 41% said GSPs. And Sammy D is uh, saying, I've got a uh, baby taste in corals. He says, stop picking little tyke corals. Well, but there's nothing wrong. With it. But that's the thing. Soft, this is what soft corals are like. The guy earlier asked about what soft corals are good for movement. Mm -hmm. And I don't, the only soft coral, so pulsing xenia is the number one. Yeah. But the only coral that I don't, the, the, the list of corals that I have that I don't like are things like mushrooms, but also leathers and toadstools. Yeah, uh, and like stuff like Capnella, what's it called? Yeah, quite Kenya brown. Tree. A lot of brown and quite so brown. beige, like yeah. fifty shades yeah. of brown. Yeah, and, uh, you, you do get the occasional nice one. Um, yellow polyps are something that uh, they move, and they're yellow, which is quite unusual. Have you seen yellow polyps? I so you must yellow, yellow star polyps. polyps. Yes, I don't know if they're called yellow stars. I just I've just known them as yellow polyps. Maybe under blue light though, they look brown. So right, okay. it's. Oh, it's not which is weird because if you think about it if they're yellow and you add blue it should make green <laughs> but they look yeah. brown <laughs> mm, interesting uh but there you go uh, the, the trouble is so what's this so we'll move on to your next one then yeah um but before we do what's it called that is a japanese weeping willow toadstool a, a neon green japanese weeping willow toadstool 
And as as I said, the picture of that one is like this, like a little small one. And the one I have is huge. And I think Josh, I know Josh is in the is in the chat at the moment. Uh, I th- I don't know what your I know you're normally like Bubbly Reefer. I think are you? I'm not sure if your name's no, changed. That's somewhere else. I've not seen Bubbly Reefer a while I'll- actually. I'm sure. Uh, no, no, it's not bubbly refresh. I can't remember. But Josh, anyway, Josh has been to the farm and Josh has seen this coral, so he can vouch for it. But it looks just like that picture, but huge. Okay, so I'm going to post up a photo of the uh, the Japanese uh, coral. I knew, there, there, there I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to find a shit picture. I mean, if that's your best bet, then. No, that is not the picture that I sent you. Send the picture. Show the picture I sent you. And now this this is my one. There you go. Look at that. That's my scrambled egg. Scrambled That's actually egg, in my tank. They? Yeah, they are scrambled eggs. So the, yeah. so my choice is scrambled eggs. Zoas. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say I just put Zoas on my list, but I've 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 stuck to the spirit and I've chosen scrambled egg. And that is, I would have to say actually first. Put off, up the picture. Put up the no, one. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I sent you. <laughs> my, my channel. That is first off. That is a really nice video of a scrambled egg Zoa. If I do say oh, so myself. If you say so yourself, yeah. Which I, they, I mean, Look, to be fair, they they are one of the nicer. Nicer Zoa scrambled eggs. Again, they also sell sell a lot of them. Oh, oh Pelagic Squimmer doesn't like doesn't like your um your Zoas either. Is scrambled dead. Yeah, oh, so like much negativity, though. Pelagic yeah. Squimmer. What's going on? Put up my picture. Oh God, do you want to see it or do you want to see the Just bad? Show them. So like, I, want, oh. I, want, I want people to appreciate how cool it looks. Ah. Oh. God, this is this. It's not fair because I'm going to lose now. Look at that. <laughs> that. That I swear that. And as as I said, Josh, if you're in the chat, can you vouch for me or anyone else who's seen this at the coral farm? It literally is that color, and it and those those um the polyps on it. They're not like the short ones you see on toadstool. Sometimes they're like like a good inch to an inch and a half. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, uh, that is that is a nice coral. I'm still going with mine. I'm still confident in mine because you can't beat scrambled egg zoas. And scrambled egg zoas, by the way, don't spread like yeah. utter chaos do. Um, they grow nicely. Yeah, they uh, they're they're affordable, especially if you buy them from me. Yeah, I, I, that in fact that exact coral. I think see that one I'm selling. I'm selling ones that's like that. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> no, this Only is just basically is a sales pitch. Only one of us is allowed to sell corals on the live stream. <laughs> so. No. Uh, the uh, scrambled eggs that I have, I'm pretty sure, came from you. Yes, possibly. Yeah, there you go. See, yeah. and they are really nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, you see, Josh is in. Josh is in the comments. He said he literally half begged for it. It is such a nice coral. The pro. See, I don't usually frag my toadstools because they're a pain in the ass. Firstly, to stick down, and secondly, they don't t- actually turn into a toadstool like a like grow a stem for ages. So I just I just go, oh yeah, I'll do it one day, and then just never do it. <laughs> So that's why the one I've got is huge. Yeah. Okay. So you need to frag it. Are they sensitive? If you frag it, I've posted the. the oh no! They like you. Literally, you just take a Stanley blade to them or scissors and just go. You, you cut a circle because yeah. then you keep the mother colony a circle. You see yeah. plenty of people online where they just cut uh, chunks out of it, which looks yeah. so odd. Um, and then you cut the circle into small, like, um, like a pineapple chunks. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um but oh, that's ah oh, that's not fair. You've cheated, Ryan. I reckon I I reckon I could sell that for a lot. I don't even know what I would sell it for. Like but I reckon people would pay a lot of money for for little frags of that size for that. So yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's expensive. It's not value for money and really this vote should be about I think I think we said at the start this is value for money, didn't we? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yes. So, I think that's what we said. So if you voted based uh, if you vote with 70% in favor of Japanese willow at the moment, if you voted on the basis of which one you like rather than value for money, I'm discounting your vote. And <laughs> I think I think that means that I've won. So that's that's, that's too why, dis- why are you picking such a bland sower? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, actually, oh, I man. think he's right. You know what you should have picked? You should have picked Utter Chaos or Three. Pink Diamonds. I don't know. Uh, Pink Diamonds. Uh, someone mentioned Rasters earlier, and I do. I really like Rasters as well. That is true. Not um, Someone just said, uh, Lewis has just said, not all long polyp toasts are weeping willows. I think what makes them a weeping willow is when you turn all the flow off and then they and like still, yeah, yeah, they yeah. droop down. Yeah, yeah. So that I that's all I just know it as that coral. I'm not saying that the one I've got yeah, is yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. I've never tested it. <laughs> well, 115 votes. People feel passionate about it, Ryan. 
and I'm losing by a, a landslide. Oh, yeah. God. So I'm three down. But this is soft curls. What do I know about soft curls? I don't what do you know about any curls? <laughs> because yeah, okay. that's like your number one is going to be Aquapora. <laughs> for, yeah. For yes. It's, I've got, I will come on to that. Right. I'm ending the vote and I'm feeling bitter. 60%. There are a few people that are asking how much for a frag. I literally, I, I'm not fragging it yet. So I will eventually frag it. But unless you want me to literally just cut a chunk and then send it to you where it's not stuck down, then um, it's not happening anytime soon, basically. Ah, right. There we go. Anyway, so we, we went through the, the, the softies and I got my pants pulled down, basically. That's what you like, um, though, isn't it? You like it when men pull your pants down? Controversial. <laughs> so we're going to move on now to LPS, which yeah. I've got a feeling I might not do that well on either. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you go first on this round. Oh God, can you go first? Because then I can. No, because I went you... first on the last one. Yeah, but then if you go first, hang on, you, me, you, me. Oh, it is my turn. Oh, yeah, and I went first on the very <laughs> first one as well. You get to choose. I can. Oh, this isn't. Fair. You to... you... Oh, go on then. <laughs> go on right. Then. Ah, uh, I've got it. First off, I can't just I can't just tell you because I'm gonna I'm gonna lose otherwise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a photo, a video, in fact, up of the um of the of the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, I'll get two videos up. Uh, because I want. Can I get two videos up at the same time? No, I can't. People are talking about different zoas. While you're doing that, they someone said my, uh, King Midas are, are nice. I like the tutti frutti mm. though. Um, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think they're called tutti frutti. Yeah, they're they're like yellow and with sort of orange centers. I think they're they're really nice. So, oh, someone's on the website. If you're on the someone's on the website, <laughs> if you're in the chat because they've just bought something. So sometimes that happens. If you're in the chat, let me know. Oh, oh, it's Christina. So I know who Christina is. She was here the other day. Christina wants to buy the like the foot long Soho tang. <laughs> Oh really? Okay. That's that's why she's boy. She wants she wants a reason to come back. <laughs> okay. Um and uh, uh okay, so right, so my first LPS one then is Yes. Scullies. Oh, oh which is technically it's a, I think it's uh um it's not like a scullemia australis anymore, it's something else. homophilia australis. So technically it's a homophilia, but scullies, everybody knows it as a scully. Yeah, and we've got either that one or yeah. Believing. Oh yeah, we just are we just picking loads of different colours now, are we? Apple. Oh, you did. You when? Give me that rubbish. I mean, there you go. With... When? With what? Right. Okay. Because you're being like that, I'm going <laughs> to cheat, Master Scotty, and I'm going to go with that one. Oh, where is it? There we go. <laughs> the one that's like that one. There yeah. you go. You, you made me do this, Ryan. Okay. Fine. That's, that's a that's a two thousand three thousand dollar. Scully, so I hope you're happy with yourself. A, a three thousand dollar, whoa, 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 whoa! You can see it's fifty percent off, so it's actually one thousand five hundred. Plus, we don't, we don't want expensive Cheap. pieces. That's not value for money, is it? Oh, if it's about value for money, I'm having my scrambled egg one back. Scullies are almost certain, like they they die all the time. They're a pain you up no, in the ass. You don't. have to feed them. Like no, they don't like don't. too much light. I saw, one of these, I saw one of these literally was that one that the one yeah the other day and it, it looked nothing like that that is a very heavily edited picture <laughs> no you're talking rubbish that's exactly what it looks like no no <laughs> oh it's... 10 percent off look <laughs> but so there 10, you go. What... what if you get 10, no, it's out of stock someone bought it no actually probably what happened was it died oh look at that oh three let's, yeah let's get three side by side there we go beat that I said, Steve says bad losers. I'm not sure which one he's talking to, me or I'm, you. I'm a very bad loser, I'm afraid. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I fear that I'm going to lose this round, actually. I don't know. All right, well, let's say what, so, so Scully's, basically, I'm not really saying the master Scully's, but Scully's, the bleeding apple Scully's. A proper bleeding apple Scully isn't that hard to come by. I'm going to play man, this so tactically. Nice. I'm oh, going to I go like that. up against your Scully's with hammer corals. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, first off, so this is really, uh, this is a fair photo, I think. It's a nice coral, 373 euros, but that is, look at that. Yeah. Fleshy. They're, if, they're, if they're easy to, to recover, if they're dying, you, you feed them oh, a little bit and they come back. I, I, I love how, as your argument, right. it's like That's they're it. easy to recover. Like, they shouldn't be dying. <laughs> no, but if you buy, what I'm saying is, so I bought one that was almost dead. In fact, this exact coral here, was 90% dead in a shop. I got it for 50 quid. Normally they're about two, 300 quid. Yeah. Uh, and it was almost dead. I bought it for 50 quid, fed it for a few months. And then it, it now it looks like this. 
So what you're saying is people basically are just like given away because they can't sell them quick enough before they die. Is that what, what you're I'm saying? S- what I'm saying is if it's uh, it's an easy coral to recover. So it's a spectacular, stunning coral. Yeah, it's easy to recover. What's your what, you, what have you got? Come on then. I told you I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with an orange hammer coral. Orange, uh, orange hammer coral. God's sake, orange hammer, brown hammer coral, more like. Oh, that's and a that's. Where's a bad there's photo? There's a nice one there. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just gonna try to find so a really bad these, photo. That's, I want, that's it's actually it's very specifically it's an orange para. At para and corner. Yes. So <sighs> those are the ones which are branching, which means you can frag them. <laughs> you're trying to find it. You're trying to find it. I like that that picture at the top of the woman in the bikini. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You, you go back with the woman in, in an orange I bikini. Know was. We, I don't need to get demonetized. Um, is that? Are you? There you go. You, white corals and I mean, white corals have good photos. They are accurate photos. Well, so that's no, I like. About, the, so. I like the last one you had, but what the woman? <laughs> so, anyway, basically, you can grow these and you can frag them and you can sell them. And people want them because they're in high demand. Whenever I get any of the like the bright orange ones, and they sell like that, they're gone. And um, and because they're branching, if you lose one head, you can just cut it off, and then it saves the rest of the colony. If as long as your water quality is all right, then it's usually fine. Whereas with a scholar, you got to feed it. You it's know, like... one minute ago, yeah, you were saying, oh yeah, that's not a genuine reason, and now you're saying the exact same thing as I did. What, what, what? It's easy to recover. It's easy to rescue. Oh no! I'm no. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm coming back. Oh, I'm coming amazing. back at you. I'm amazing. debating you with your <laughs> argument to say that this one's better for that point. Oh, how do people prefer that to a scully? <laughs> no. What's wrong with the world? I don't see scullies don't sell brilliantly. You get a very select group of of people that do like them, but they're also horrifically expensive. That, the only thing I don't like about them is how expensive they are. Yeah, and they're one of those corals where a lot of people will probably have had experience with them, where they do slowly die, and you watch them slowly die. It's like a month-long process as you hate the tank every day that you see your 300 pounds evaporating. Yeah. Oh, to, to be fair, I think you can. they are hardy, and you should be able to recover it. Yeah. Um, but they, uh, they are, they're just they're very expensive. That's the only thing I have against them. I've been told to put up a UFO. Tom says put up a UFO scully. That's these. It's a bit average to me, to be honest. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah. No, yeah, they are. I've had one of those. They are a bit average. It's close. 58% to plays 42%. Guys, keep voting. because Yeah, I keep voting for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't, can't lose again. Oh, uh, yeah. See, Jay, see, Jay has said in the comment, he absolutely loves the orange hammer. Like, that was the one of the first corals I ever imported. And what I actually does Jay said, know? Jay doesn't know anything. I sent That's Jay a safe. message. If you, I don't know if you can get Jay's Instagram up, but it's, there's a picture of it on there. But um, when I sent Jay a message the other day saying, I love looking at that hammer coral because it reminds me of the first import I ever did. And, I, and to this day, I still remember one came in on, in on the import, just one. Uh, and then I emailed the company. I said, have you got any more? And they said, yeah, we got like 50. I was like, I'll take them all. <laughs> hmm. um, I'm on his Instagram, but I can't see any uh, orange hammer coral. It, it, there's like, there might be like a whole, a whole pay, uh, like a whole full tank shop. And I think it's it, in the bottom yeah. left corner. That's it. This yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Because some of them also have like green stems. I think that one has a, is got, is like orange with green stem, I think. I do but like I those greys, right. I have to say. They look nice. Um, uh, are we only close? It's 55%. Oh, it's getting close. How long do you reckon it'll take before if we if we give it another hour of voting? Am I winning then? Is it fifty five for me? Just about, yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like I think we're done now, aren't we? We're moving on. I think didn't we say we were going to just pick a random comment? Team Scotty. No, that, that's what. No, that's what. You, and then, that's what on. you said. Give, give me a minute. I'll find a comment that do, people Look, doesn't even like sand sifting starfish hate scullies. See, so who cares about sand sifting starfish? I do. They're not I voting. Do. They well, can't click on my YouTube videos. Anyway, let's move on. Shall I go for my next one? Oh, hang on, let me end the vote. Okay. Oh, 57%. That's, that's four, four zero, is it? Seven percent hammers. This oh, is sorry. great advertising. You know those mystery boxes which I sell? This yeah, is great yeah. advertising. I bet I'll it, do shows, one. <laughs> it shows you that I pick good corals. Ah, oh, Ryan, you're four nil up. Yep, four nil to me. Okay, go on then. What's right. next? I am going to go for trachophilia. I love trachophilia. 
Uh, you used to mostly see green ones. I haven't seen a green one in years. But if I'm going to go for a very specific trachophilia, I want to go for the half green, half red one, which I have. <laughs> okay, let me bring that photo up. Here we go. One have you got second. a picture of that one? I have, yeah. I've got a video of it. I do? There we go. That's your... That's, the, <laughs> that's, that's just a green one. <laughs> green one. Oh, that's a bit bland, isn't it? But if that's what you want, that's what you want. So, no, you know. I don't want that in trachophilia. I want, a, I want the, same, the same rules where you get to pick a thousand pound one. Oh right, you want yeah, okay. You, yeah. You want, I was I was kind of hoping he, I could just. Will cheat Will him. he bought two of my track affiliates? He said they're amazing. Oh no, no, he bought two of the mystery boxes. Actually, he said they're amazing. <sighs> there you go. Joe, I genuinely can't find the, uh, the. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, you do actually. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I Look at that like one to it. the left. Look at that boring red one with bland <laughs> greeny blue. Look Ooh. at the one just underneath that. I don't even remember that one. That one's crazy. No, I can't, I can't see it. Can't see it. Don't know what you're talking about. Can you, if, uh, can you get yeah, the so, black band at the bottom? No, sorry. Because uh, that looks crazy, that one. It's got like blue and everything in it. Yeah. That would be the but, one I'd go for if I could show it to you. <laughs> well, you can't, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, so trachophilia right, is, yeah. is what you're going for. So I I'm need, need for, to, I'm gonna, I need yeah. to bring out the big guns now because I need a victory. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and because I need a victory and because I need to bring out the big guns, I'm going to go with Ford Carl's thousand oh. pounds of gold ones. <laughs> no, I'm, I've told, no, I, I don't, I genuinely don't like um, uh, 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 what they call torch corals. And I'm going to go for a uh, Goniopora. Oh, that is a good choice. Ooh, thanks very much. And in fact, it's technically it's Goniopora slash bernard pora because as far as i'm concerned they're the same thing even though they're very clearly oh, not, not no 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 that's like me going oh yeah i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a tragophilia and also a lobophilia because they kind of look the same my house my rules so look at them these are and these are your my picture against me <laughs> these are your corals from your i know you can't tell me that you don't like them i them. can't believe i forgot them actually because those are some of the most popular sellers all of them i have tanks. all three of those i have one of each of those in my tank do you? you the don't. one on the left I bought from somewhere else, but the oh. other two I bought for you. <laughs> but they're just gunnies are just so yeah. nice. I love I'm gunnies. That you bought from someone else. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah, no. Deal yeah. with it. <laughs> um, but there you go. So that's what I'm going with. Gunnies, gunnies slash Bernards. Which <laughs> James says, don't bother that? telling us your choice. Ryan's one. <laughs> No, 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 Gunny's. No, no, you cannot choose two different corals, and you have to pick one. You're 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 using a specific tracky that doesn't because exist anywhere specific, in the world. You 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 picked a specific scully. Too late, I've done it. So what are you gonna do about it? Well, and I've got three channels, so I'm gonna go on now and vote for them. So that's that's, that's true. That's true. Brian says as he picks up his phone. <laughs> 84%. Come on. 20 what? votes. Please, please. I need this. <laughs> I'm losing by miles. How is that uh, happening? The thing, I was tempted to leave Gunnies to the next one because Gunnies are, they are, joking aside, Gunnies Ooh. are absolutely amazing. And I would have, the, they are my favorite LPS coral. I would have them over anything, especially a tracky. Uh, this uh, is what happens when you don't do your homework because I would have picked probably those Bernardo Poras if, if I had. Yeah, they're nice. Because yeah. they, they give you movement. They are a bit stingy. I'll give them that. And they are, they're semi expensive, but they're not mega expensive. But I feel like, because people keep talking about them being like an on trend or a popular yeah, coral. Yeah. So that probably means they're going to get more expensive. Oh. So buy now. Brian Max on my side. Look, trackies are so under rated i don't underrate them but god he's a mic drop you know i you know i said he doesn't know anything i changed my mind jay yeah he, jay knows his stuff <laughs> jay, jay is the one yeah oh uh, yeah i oh that hurts because i i would have gone for um that pink gunny with the gold tips that, I, that i've got at the moment yeah it's inferno gunny i i bought another i bought an inferno gunny from a different shop as well <laughs> oh i see i see how this Reef is going i was in there three times this weekend oh steve webb voted three times for me nice see oh, outrageous steve webb uh, wants a discount code <laughs> the other thing is so i'm, I'm winning on that i think i'm gonna win are gunnies as hard to keep as people say i think actually they are it doesn't mean that you won't be able to keep them and plenty of people do nothing special and still keep them, but yeah. they can be very tricky. And I've never had success with gunnies until recently, literally the last six to eight months, yeah. when I started dosing manganese. 
and now they're they're fine. Uh, but they are they are very much they're not a beginner coral. And there's no if you were about to drop two hundred quid on your first LPS coral and it was a gone, yeah. don't don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you hate it. Because even if you just I've had them before where everything my water has been pristine, every coral in the tank, LPS, yeah. Acropora are looking banging. Put a gunny in and it just it retracts and it just, you never see it again. It's like it just slowly dies. So they're, yes, they are hard. I think the wild ones are much less hardy than mm. than tank bred ones. Some of them grow really rapidly. Those Bernardoporas, they grow like crazy. Like oh, really? they they're one of the fastest growing corals in 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 the in all of the corals I've got. They're one of the fastest ones, um, and I frag them all the time. But the got the um. The wild gonies are not as hardy, definitely, okay. as as the as the ones that I'm obviously growing. Yeah, so I, I bought a wild, a pink wild gony recently from a, a Maidenhead Aquatics, and it's um, it was 130 quid. If it was in any other shop, it would be double that price. It was yeah, a yeah. really nice pink gony, um, but I was a little bit apprehensive because it's a wild gony. It's fine actually as it goes. It's doing all right. And yeah. I dipped it; nothing came off, so it was it was good. But um, but it, yeah yeah yeah. I would but with any any coral, I would rather buy. I would rather not buy a, a wild coral, but I guess particularly so gunny. So uh, right, I'm going to end the poll because for a start, well for, not for a start because I've won. That's amazing. Oh, That's what God. one out of four you won. I have a very fragile ego, and if I start crying, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my camera off. So we're gonna do. We're gonna go. Who picks the best equipment? And you'll win. Yeah, that one yeah exactly. Now. Who picks? Who picks the most lights? <laughs> yes. Yeah. True. True. Uh, all right. So the, the the result for that one, for the purposes of the podcast, listening at home. Yeah. Uh, Gunnies were seventy four percent. Trackies were twenty five percent. Hashtag YouTube math. I'm I'm surprised. I thought it'd be closer than that. I didn't realize trackies were so underrated. I don't. Um, I yeah. I should have gone with my other choice actually because I think that would have been an easy win. But. It's my choice now, isn't it? Oh no, actually, we, we, we the, right. My last, our, our last ones. Then, yeah. My last LPS chalices. Oh, interesting Ooh, thank choice. Thank you very much. Chalices. Oh, he's that, lost, guys. He knows I mean, it. They're an acquired <laughs> taste, I think. Do you think? I put people. Mm, well, I don't know. I was going to go for a cans. I don't keep a cans myself, but they're. The, I like the, all the different color variations you get. You know, um, I, I've put a um, I've put a, a, a list of corals I don't like, and I did it for softies a bit ago and had um, um what they called uh, mushrooms on them. Yeah, Acans yeah. are on the list of LPS I don't like, so that is a challenge. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh no! God. Have I chosen? Have I chosen a thousand dollar challenge? Oh, How? Look, that's un- oh good. Yeah, I, but you sell that something very similar I, to. That. I do. I don't sell I it for that one. much. I didn't realize I was no, selling no. it so cheap. That I looks have like one it's in my literally. Tank. That's like a, either a small frag or a medium sized frag, I think. That's tiny, isn't it? It's, it's got a lot of ice. Though. Pounds. Sold. Oh, God. Jelly bean, chalice, coral. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. WWC jelly bean chalice. Yeah. Boxwith for the win. Uh, oh, look at that as well. That's a that is that looks like an accurate photo to me as well. Oh no, it's not letting me see it. Look at that. Chalice beat that, Ryan. Oh, look at that one. Sorry for people listening on the podcast. <laughs> Just imagine a mind-blowing chalice coral. Like <laughs> okay. Chalice. It's got okay. orange, I, it's got I, green, it's got red, purple, blue. I can't, blue. can't, I oh. can't compete with that. No. I, I I can't compete with that if I'm honest. What what are you um, gonna try to compete with? Uh, Sunny Gold is is right. Is they are enchanatas now. I'm gonna Echinata. go for a rainbow, a a, ra- a rainbow one. Um, a can. Yeah. Uh, let's let's do the prop. What's it called? It's called a Lord Howensis Micro Musa. Oh, that's sorry, that's the one. Yeah, that's it's not Lord Howensis Micro Musa. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. There's uh, <laughs> there's a <the> Micro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awful. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel I, I, look. Those chalices are an acquired taste, and if if you're what not you willing think? to spend three hundred pounds on that piece of coral, then you should not be voting with Alex for this. I I, I am I am notoriously tight. I, I'm gonna. Uh, this isn't really. I'm genuinely not. Tr- I'm trying to show a nice A can. Let me just find one because the. The only acans, the only reason I don't like acans is because they lose their color, yeah, uh, all the time. And you buy like a multicolored one, and yeah, then yeah. within six months, it's gr- it's red. <laughs> um, which photo? Uh, that was that's quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. 
Well, I don't know. That's yeah. Kind of, but then that that would be red 100. percent My other, <laughs> see, I, I had, I did have another idea, which was fun gears, but I thought I'm never going to beat with a fun gear. So, no. oh, do you know what? And this is so this is a holy grail, my No, I don't like that one. It's the I ones that yeah, type of yellow. Micro most micro overrated. Most because overrated yellow ones micro. are the ones that people buy like crazy. If you, I haven't had them in years. God, that's not good, is it? Yeah, it's a bit drab. It's, it's all of that one. Uh, they, see, on the very left, I think country, I think it's uh, that, other side. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, of course, because when you say left, I see right. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't one. know. Pick any one you want. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let, yeah, let's, kind let's... of like that one. Those are the ones that people like, where they're like uh, gold colored. I'm going to start a poll quickly. because. So just so you know, <laughs> those gold colored ones, they were like, I don't know, 60 quid. That chalice he's showing is like three hundred pounds or nine hundred for the one in the picture. You less showed. than three hundred. Less than three hundred. Uh, so. A lot less. And I, so chalice, even like even if if we're going away from that one, yeah. Raja Rampage. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I know you don't like Raja Rampage. Yeah, listen, but not... Chalices are actually an acquired taste. They're not that popular. You do I'm get this. You said that. There's certain ones, because remember, I obviously sell loads of them, but oh, the ones that, that are popular are, are the Jelly Beans, the Bugattis, um, the Raja Rampage, Space Invader, because I know you want some Space Invader, don't you? Yes. But the, just the general chalices, they're not overly popular. But I, I, to be fair, I actually agree with you. I, I think there's a lot more color variety than it with chalices. There's, there's a yeah. whole range. But I, I've never understood why people don't like them that much. No, I'm surprised. Uh, that surprised me actually. I, they, they can be a bit stingy. Yeah, they sure. are. They, they, like the, I, someone told me the Raja Rampage is called that because it goes on the rampage and sends its sweet tentacles out. And it might just be a rubbish, but sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but I I think they look spectacular, and they're, they're not always that expensive. Um, to be fair, no, the colours on them uh, pop. Like the even just yeah. like a mummy eye chalice or a golden eye chalice, they're like they're contrasting colours. They're like twenty to thirty pounds. And yeah. but they're not overly like really really popular. But some of them, yeah, someone just said someone they have really long tentacles. Some of them, yes, they've really proper stinging sweeping thing. Um, I'm just this is oh look at that. So this is one I bought the other day. This is on my ultimate refit. Oh, that was yeah, a bit rubbish. It not a very good photo. But that, that's proper. Oh, that, that's the one you're putting up against in my one, is it? Oh, actually, that's looking a bit sad. Looking at look at that close. Look at that. A couple of patches. Hmm, interesting. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, that's a proper bright coral. It just doesn't look it in the photo, but uh, it's close, Ryan. Fifty-four percent. So I'm, I'm going to end the poll whilst I'm in the front. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, oh, was it? Too 50... late. Oh, too, too late. it literally <laughs> said my vote didn't go through. <laughs> yes. Um, there oh, we go. We're on, so. we're on two for Alex now. Uh, although annoyingly, I pressed end. Oh, there we go. It's, I was going to say it's disappeared. Um, there we go. So I won with 54% versus 45% ACANs. ACANs are really popular. I just don't, I just don't get them. They just, they, they look awesome in the shop. And then within a six months, they're just drab in my, I if bought this only, one. If only I had done my homework, I literally only had to walk into the coral farm, look around yeah. for 30 seconds and gone. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> well, I don't have any, vi any videos for my, uh, my visit to your place of ACANs, of nice ACANs. And that, what that tells me is I didn't see anything that I thought, oh, that's awesome. Because I, 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 if I, I'd like taking videos of stuff that I think is yeah. cool. <laughs> my, my ACANs are all tucked away. They're behind the Zoas. You don't see them very often. How long are chalice, chalice dingers? They can be like four or five inches. <laughs> yeah, some of them can be very long. Yeah. The, um... some, some, some are short, really short though. Like actually I've got one, uh, what's it called? A, a worldwide coral Stellaria chalice. Yeah. As far as I can see, and I've looked at night, it has no stinging tentacles whatsoever. But yeah. if you touch it, I, I it dropped on off my uh, rock and it landed on next to a, a staghorn coral and it killed it. Like within half a second, bleached the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> like So if it touches it, wham. But it didn't have stingers, so some some have stingers, some don't. But and to be fair, chalice. I think chalices. We call chalices all the same thing. There's but a from, lot of different ones. For, yeah, exactly. From what I understand, it's probably five or six different corals, and we yeah. just call them chalice. So yes, just yes. just so how long is the chalice stinger? Well, depends if it's a chalice, which it probably not isn't. <laughs> Hollywood stunner has crazy long tentacles, and I don't it like them. they grow so fast. It's a really really thin chalice. Some chalices yeah. are like chunky and some of them are really thin and that's a thin one. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Avatar chalice is the one I don't get. Oh, no. Hollywood's done as well. I don't get either of them. I think they're just a bit boring. The Avatar one's all right. 
but not yeah the hollywood yeah. stunner is a bit boring yeah but um but there we go there we go and um lewis Aceves. yes micro musa lord hoensis is is what he said below no, I know, but he, but he says every A can, and he corrected himself. Said Micro Lord, every, every A can I purchase turns the same bland red color, which is yeah. generally my experience. But that, then it's my fault because I give my own too much light because I try you should to buy green ones. They say green. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, um, but there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing it back. Four two down. Four. Hang on. Four two. Yeah, six. Yeah, we're six. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, okay. two, yeah. And the, on the list of corals that I've got that are, of LPS corals that I don't like are. Uh, Acan Echinata. Do you know what they? Yes, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, a like a like a squashed Acan, basically. Yeah, yeah. And the reason, so I I like the look of them because some of them look awesome. Uh, but uh, what I don't like, and here we go. As you go, forty quid. This one is on eBay. Nice price. Uh, that actually doesn't look too saturated to me. Um, oh, it's the Ocean Project. Oh, that's Josh Seal's photo. <laughs> He's a really good photographer. Um, that I really like. 40 quid is a good price for that, but they yeah. are sti they are stingy as hell. Are they? Really stingy, yeah. And so I've never bought one for that reason. But there you go. Um, uh, so that's uh, that's one I didn't like. What else was, was, uh, was on my list? Uh, Acans, I've talked about already. Torches, yeah, just kind of uh, don't really get it. And then I put shrooms for some reason. That's not a, that's not an LPS. <laughs> but there you go. Maybe that's why I'm winning. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So I think I went... Is it your turn to go first now? It right, is. So. <laughs> yes, we're on the SPS okay. now, aren't we? We are SPS. Oh, God. How's this going to go? Oh, it's, oh, how, how specific do we have to be for this? Well, this it? is a trouble. We were, Yeah, because I, I have gone for a specific type gone. It was more of like when we started, we're like, oh, we're going to pick sort of generic ones. Now we're picking very specific one color variation of the coral that we like. Yeah. Yeah. And so I've not put that, I haven't put that thought into this. No, me neither. You see what I mean? But so I've gone for, with this because like Aquapora is an obvious answer, but you can't just put Aquapora because there are millions. Yeah. And we've kind of done that with things like chalices, or I have anyway. But, uh, yeah. but so I've chosen a specific type of Aquapora, too, in fact. Well, okay, I'm going to go for um, Montipora. Ooh. I'm going to go for the Which plating type? variety of Montipora. Uh, do I have to pick a specific color or? or... Uh, no, don't, I can find a boring. <laughs> You're going to go for a brown one. <laughs> Mine. Yeah, like yeah. the higher end ones are like the grafted ones with the green and red or the sunfire graft. Did you even get purple and green now? You get um, red and uh, red and purple, so you get all different color variations, or you can have the individual colors themselves. You can have red, you can have green, you can have lime green, you can have fucking brown. <laughs> like that. I'm not sure. Am oh, I... <laughs> oops. oh god, that, I, I feel that, like this is heavily weighted against me. <laughs> uh, no, let me let me let me, let me get rid of that because that is a, a wild. Uh, that's, that's the ocean. Let's, course, okay, so. let's go for a grafted Montipora. Because... I have a I have a video from my trip to uh, prestigereef.co.uk <laughs> of, uh, of of a grafted Monty. There you go. Um, I feel like I'm getting defeated with these when, when you show me those brown pictures. This is I I don't know to be fair. I, I I'm not convinced. I I don't know if I'm going to win this. Why have you gone for that one? That is not the one I asked for. All right, you, that's a grafted Monty. No, oh, I want sake. a green one. A green right, grafted right. Montadora. Even, is that good enough for you, Your Majesty? Oh, he, he, there's even a nice, there's a, there's a nicer one than that. Like, have you got any picture of the really big chunks of it? That's the only one I've got. Oh, uh, well, that one's a pretty cool one. It's got, it looks like the Eye of Eye of, Sau is it Eye of Sauron. Eye of Sauron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let me just get one out quickly. Well, all right, let me pull that away for a second. What am I? What am I going to put up against that? Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, this is a fair, a fair. Um, uh, uh, what's the word? Oh, yes. Oh god, that's a good photo. One sec, Mark, Mark Swan, did you get a mystery box? Are you because someone got grafted Montepore in the mystery box? It might have been you. So, but uh, you can just let me know in the comments while Alex is looking. It's um yeah, because I I know a couple of people got it. Um, I, I, they got a few different types of. I've, I sent out a few different types of grafted in the mystery boxes last week. See, people don't get shit corals; they get good ones. All right, guys, is not or something? Bloody hell! Yeah, it is. Well, I'm waiting for you. I'm trying to fill the gap. Might I as well, you, spend, you, might as well you, fill my pockets at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I what am going to go. Look, look at this. That 
Why would it not? That's a nice picture of a graft in Montefiore if you can actually see it, but you can't. Well, there you go then. So uh, if you can't see it, it didn't happen. I am okay. going to go with Seriatopora caliendrum. Oh, why do I? Every time I try to pull up the photo, it disappears. Interesting oh. choice. Uh, okay, do you know what? Uh, let me just uh, let me just get. I'm just going to post this up. I'll post them both up because I'm 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 struggling with the uh, the, the the photo. But Seriatopora caliendrum. What are you saving Acropora for? This one. Look at that. That is a caliendrum. How? Yeah. And this is so. Bird, this is a bird's nest coral, basically. Um, but it, like the normal green bird's nest is the one to the left here, which is actually on your website. Sorry, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that I don't like the growth pattern, and they're just a bit bland, and they like they just they don't have vivid polyps. The caliendrum, this one, yeah, yeah, the, it's a really close growing pattern. It just looks fantastic. It's the bright. It's so bright, like you can see that thing from space, and it glows like yeah crazy. it's like invasive like oh here we go you want to cut chunks of it and throw it in the bin it stings other corals that's nearby and it's just green how many other green corals do you want at least get a green and a red one <laughs> i was gonna say uh so this is um uh, uh, and you say it's it's invasive that won't sting caliendra won't not? sting no 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 it won't the grafted monty will I, 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 I don't know. And all of my hysterics, all, all bits, they all they all sort of intertwine with each other. Before so. you vote, and they don't think each other. Before you vote, just think about Tropic Thunder, Monty. It will take over the world. No, 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 no. Like, We're not talking about boom. encrusting, Monty. We're talking about plating, Monty. That is an encrusting one. No, that that, that plates as well. No, it's not the so, same as a plating, Monty. Oh no. So. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might be up against. I might be onto a loser here. To be fair. Because I, I I don't I don't get grafted Montes if I'm honest I, I wouldn't buy one because um, I've I've got to the point where I'm a bit bored of Montes. Um, you know, but... I, that's the other coral I'm hoping that will will be okay with the angelfish. I've got uh, that might be the first coral I put in the in the new tank. Monty, grafted yeah. Monty. I'll put a, a piece of grafted Monty in there because the other thing when it grows big you hardly ever see it grow big. But you know when when it's like. That like spiral scrolls, yeah, and yeah. Yes, it looks amazing, and that I, I've always wanted that, like a few different color Montes or scrolling. Yeah. But whenever I get them, they just plate. Every now and then they'll scroll. Yeah. It's like, is it flow? Is it light? Is it you know? I I, I don't know what it is. It, it might just be a certain type. I don't know. I've got one that does it at the moment. There's I just happen to just leave it in the very middle of the coral tray. So you've got flow going up yeah. either side of it, and light really strong in the middle. And it's, and it's grown like a perfect scroll. It's amazing. The problem with those is when they scroll, or or even if they just bowl like they sometimes do, yeah, they catch detritus. Yeah, yeah. And there's true. always like dust on on, and so you've got to blow yeah. off. It's like oh. They also shade each other out. They shade the lower bit out. Yeah. So I fragged the one that's in the middle the other day. It now looks like it's got this big dead section from where I cut it off. <laughs> I'm like, I. How can I have a coral that I can't frag unless it looks yeah. like it's dying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tropic Thunder is the dream. Yeah. And we all want some Tropic Thunder. I've actually well, you, started, you can have it. <laughs> grow, I've started growing Tropic Thunder again. I threw loads of it away because it I like just grew out of control. And, and now just I put it on frags. Yeah, okay. Just another reefer says he likes the Seriatopora that's green and purple. Limebury. Um, yeah, yeah Limebury. It's not Hystrix, is it? I don't know. Anyway, I know the one you mean. Limeberry um, is a history. It's not Limeberry. It's um. Oh God. It's Birds of Paradise. Is the other one. Bird of Paradise. Oh yeah, no yeah. no no. I I think it's Limeberry. Bird of Paradise is the no. I don't... Yeah yeah yeah. It's it's Limeberry. <laughs> anyway, um, I have grafted. Hate it, uh, but Dork threw that one away. Yeah, I think Damn you it. did throw it away. But but that's why I'm wondering what you're storing up. <laughs> All right. For... Well, uh... Like you're. You're saving up like the strawberry shortcake Acropora for some other big win or something, I think. Well, I'm, I'm going to end the poll there. Uh, and disappointingly, I've lost 60 40. Yeah. I crafted Monty. Oh, no. Well, I'm gonna... ah! Excuse me. Oh, bless you. Guess one tight. Uh, all right. So you're now going to have not... 100 <clears throat> messages saying, bless you. <laughs> I know, yeah, uh, that is a uh, uh, a win for for Ryan five two. Oh man! So I you I need to win the next two and the miscellaneous category for a draw. <clears throat> and if uh, so, we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah. 
I'm not feeling good about this. All right, so I, I feel like I've got quite a strong one for the for the miscellaneous <laughs> category. I'm interested to see what your one is. My yeah, mm. we'll come on to it anyway. So <laughs> next, my my I'm next, right? For the um, it, for the yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so in that case, I will load one up. So this is SPS, yeah, and of course I'm going for an Aquapora, uh, and uh, frustratingly, my uh, library is is loading. So I'm just going to try to drag out, but I'm going for. The single best, and this is a fact, the single coolest coral known to man, strawberry shortcake. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, I, that. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I get a close up. Look at that. Oh, oh God. Oh, look at that. God. Oh. I am aroused yeah. now. Yeah. Man. Well. Like that. oh, that's honestly that's that is something else you can't not love and and this is how big it is now this one I've had I've had to frag this it's so big oh yeah uh, if oh, if man. Alex one second so they said if Alex win if Alex wins Ryan can we get a discount code for your shop why would if Alex wins I give you a discount that I'll be very upset yeah if anything it'd be the way around. <laughs> Um, so there you go. You've, you've got to find something to beat the most spectacular coral in the world. I genuinely don't get why you like that coral. I just think it's really? a bit oh. shit. It's just blue-ish. Blue? Ish. blue? Well, look, go back to that picture. Go clean up after go back to that us. picture. I mean, oh. We both know you're colorblind, so. That's not blue, you idiot. That picture is mostly blue. <laughs> It's because under blue lights. With well, exactly. That's, it's that's, green and that's, pink and creamy. With ah, oh, no, mate. no. I am right. going. Look, this is a. There's a fifty-fifty. The reason I'm I'm procrastinating is because I'm it's just quickly. Curl. No, I'm quickly having a look at what options are going to come up. Okay, I know which one. There, there were two options I was going to go for. I wasn't sure which one. They're both millipora, um, and I'm going to go for a rainbow millipora. The other one was sunset, but I know you'll find a shit picture. So that's why I'm going for a rainbow. No, I, I went. Uh, rainbow be, Millie. Rainbow Millie, oh, yeah. You get them right. quite quite readily available from Indonesia. They come in almost, almost every box. You can get a rainbow uh, and a sunset one if you want them. And um, you um, they you can frag them. They grow quickly. They're pretty corals. You look at the look on your face. You're like, no, because oh, trouble is, so mine is is a true uh, uh, video oh, of, of one that's actually that? in a tank. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I can hear. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll post this one then. Coral Euphoria. Oh god, the best. The, the best. No, he knows. He knows how grows corals. No, I'm I know. Not, but not, I was thinking, why are you cheating. posting it? This is ASD Rainbow Millie. Yeah, that's a Rainbow Millie. Yeah, so you're... I, I think Milliporas are a much better than like. Strawberry shortcake. Like Even you took ages to be able to keep it alive, didn't you? Is that right? It took not to keep it alive. So I bought the one inch frag, and for eighteen months, maybe two years, it grew to the size of a golf ball. That's it. Yeah. And then suddenly, bang! It's now yeah. massive. It can't, I can't. It's grown too fast. But it took a long, long time. Yeah, long time to oh. to get there. But if if you said to me what. Which one of the sort of the acros of my favorite are, are hands down Millipora? Any of them, basically. I do I think like a Millie. You can get really bright pink ones as well. They come in bright pink <clears> and red and orange and yellow. They're they're and they're again they're they're one of the ones you put in. You don't worry when you go to sleep at night. It's gonna be dead in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this is very true, and the same cannot be said for my my next choice. By the way. Um, but we'll uh, so what what is so we're, I'm always oh, close, but the, the strawberry shortcake is a classic. <laughs> but I do, I like a millie, I've got a few millies. I have never nice. had a strawberry. This is genuinely true. You usually get one strawberry shortcake in on every uh import, and I've never had one survive, not once. So never. I have this because they're wild SPS. This is a bad idea. I have I've just fragged mine, I've got a few frags. If you would like a frag, you can have it as a freebie and then grow it out. But <laughs> You can't keep SPS; it'll probably die. So. Oh, oh, mean, <laughs> mean. Um, but I'll bring it down next time. My SPS tray begs to differ, where it's growing out of the water. <laughs> yeah, but that's Monty's. Don't or matter. Po Pockies. Uh, I, I, I love. I actually like Priscilla Pora. 
I bet that's on your list. Really, you don't like. It is. I really don't like pockies. I, I've got loads. I've only realised it the other day. I've got the, all these little green things growing all over the place. They've just started growing on the glass and in the corners mm. and stuff. And it's, it's the Priscillapora spawned in the mm. tank. Yeah. And it's all over the place. See, that bothers me. Uh, it just, uh, I don't, I don't want that. It's, like, it's like an invasive. I like a lot. Oh, I'm going to end the poll. I've lost, which means I've lost tonight. I can't put it back. 66% rainbow Millie, 34% strawberry shortcake. I lost oh, by man. one, one last time, just one. So, you know, you never, you might, we might be able to make it as even as last time. We'll have to do another one, a, to, a, like a decider where it's inverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's. That's a bit more of a favorite, tough category. What's your favourite crab? <laughs> yeah, uh, we can do that. We can do that. It'd be the one, the one with the little uh, pom pom. Yeah, probably I'll go for that one. All right. So, well, I've lost that, but we do still have one more. Um, we've got two more um, choices, basically. Well, yeah. You're the last. The, your last, and I'm going to lose this as well. Your last uh, SPS. What's your last SPS, Ryan? I'm going to go for Pacillapora. Um, I'll go for like a rainbow or green brown persilipora. No. So basically, the, I've got one. I don't know what it's called, but I think it might be a rainbow one. And it's it's got green. Uh, it's all sort of different colors. It's not on the website, um, so I couldn't even show you a picture on there. Uh, persilipora. Let me see if I can find one. Right. Well, whilst you're doing that, I'm going for ice fire echinata. <clears throat> Which is this bad boy, the blue and white? And that's not a bad choice. I don't quite like that. The Ice Fire Echinata is an absolutely spectacular coral. It is the most beautiful SPS coral in the world, full stop. The only thing is, it's nigh on impossible to keep. <laughs> okay, can I? You, and I, this on the right, by the way, that's your pocky. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's. I, I did wonder why that was there. I was like, that doesn't look like either of our corals. <laughs> if you want to go, if, should we? Well, it's up to you. I can keep it as that, and you just go for a green Pacillopora and get a better picture. Or you can go for an Oregon Tort, because I think Torts are like nice corals as well. And that's like a fair fight. It's up no, to you. You've chosen already. So. Yeah, go for a Pacillopora. <laughs> I want a big colony of a green one. The growth pattern on them is different to loads of other corals. So they grow green, like a clump. And they are. Pocky. Why are you keeping that ugly picture up? <laughs> a green pocky. You can. You can... Tidal Gardens. Tidal Ga who is known to have the best videography oh, and photography in I the world. I will go for that one. Yes. <laughs> That's not the one I was talking about, but we'll go for that one. Actually, to be fair, that. Looks quite nice, I, and I, I just don't like it. Imagine when it's like this big, and it's it's just it's sort of like yeah, in like together. two days when it's yeah, taken over. Yeah, it grows tank. fast. You can and sell it. They it. those frags they sell for like twenty pounds. And so if it grows fast, boom, it's next, next, next. It, Bring that crash in. Well, your coral is probably going to die. <laughs> it is. It's inevitably going to die. But it's just it's just so nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I had a green one of those, like a like a Hawkins proper... Echinata. Oh, is that what it is? Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I had. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just yeah. I, so I bought one of them not long ago, but I dipped it, which was, I dipped it and it strips straight away. <laughs> yeah. But it was a tank bred one from a uh, uh, someone I know who's um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's had it was really based out. It was settled, and yeah. he delivered it to me, <laughs> and I just stripped. <laughs> so, Josh is just Josh in the comments sensitive. said tenuous would have been a good choice. I did consider tenuous, but I was only going for it. To, I would only have gone for it to win, not because yeah. I like it. <laughs> so I have five. One, I think I have four or five tenuous in my tank. No, six maybe. Anyway, I've got a few tenuous in my tank, and some of them are lovely. I've got one that I bought as a, a, a home wrecker. I don't know if it is or not. Um, and it's it's nice. But it's not like the, it's not the most spectacular car you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Um, and I've got a couple of I've got one that I've had for about eighteen months. It's doubled in size from a half inch frag to a one inch frag. <laughs> That's it. It's based out and it's done yeah, nothing. Yeah. And that, in my experience with tenuous, they grow very, very, very slowly. Yeah. Indeed. My, the home wrecker has now got to the point where it's growing quite quick because it's settled. Yeah. But the others are all just so slow. You, you have to be really on it as well. To keep them to keep them alive, you have to be spot on. It's, you can't be like, oh, I'm just gonna let my fast. I suppose you did like it. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I have to, your, your tank's like a mystery to me sometimes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they they lose color. I well, I think I yeah. know what it is with your tank. I think I'm pretty sure it's your it highlight. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. Um, but they lose color, 
then they do nothing for ages. I know we, I know neither of us has picked this one, but that's why no, we no. go for it. They are pre colors, but I wonder if I've got. Uh, let me let me search for a, a video or a photo of a tenuous I've got. Are you just trying to? Are you just trying to like delay it? Because at the moment the, it's fifty four forty six. Is it? I'm not even looked. Hang on. It's, oh, you're winning. How can how can you vote for Priscilla Pora over a nice fire egg art of heaven? Because Priscilla Pora, what's the world coming to? Well, nice pieces. Um, this is my this is one of my tenuouses, and that this is actually probably the nicest one. Yeah, it actually it looks it looks slightly nicer than it does in that video. Um, and that's still quite nice, but and it, but that's it basically. I, it started as about half that size, and it's based out you know, over the course of a year or eighteen months. It's hardly done anything. You have to be like this close to the tank, you, as yeah, well. exactly, so, like with a mag magnifying them. glass. Yeah. yeah, to go. Oh, look at that! That little subtle hint of green with a yeah. tab of orange. There's a bit um, of blue there if you look closely. Yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> around the around the coralite. Yeah, I'm surprised you can even see that blue. I know. We there's also another one that's really good actually. Let me just go. Is a Pikachu. I should, I should have gone. For, I should have gone for a Pikachu. Why didn't I go for that? Look at that. Yeah, not bad. And that to the right is uh, is um, the uh, the Sunset Millie. You were yeah, that about. that's the one. I, that that was what I would have gone for that on the last one. Yeah. In fact, those those three corals in that shot, the the tenuous, the the Pikachu, and the, the Sunset Millie, are the yeah. three three of the nicest in my tank. It's almost like you know what you're doing. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Yeah. But yeah, almost. Um, I should have gone for the uh, sunset mini. Oh, ice fire. Like, well, you said I hadn't done my homework at the start. I had, but the the only one I had a third SPS. That was the only yeah. one I hadn't chosen. I was like, oh, ice fire echinata. I think if I'd have thought yeah. more closely. How much time would you say I spent on this list? How much time would you say I spent about on this four list? seconds? <laughs> was, wasn't it? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe five. Yeah. At, at the start, of, at the start. So we always talk for half an hour before the stream every time. Um, so we can see you in the chat. We always have a, we have a, a little chat, and um, uh, I always turn up, and Alex is like, "You done your homework?" I'm like, "Nope, do let me now. do it right now." <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. literally took five seconds. Um, it is a Pikachu, Danny. I think the thing is in oh, I say I say it. I think it is the the so Danny's for the uh, purpose of the podcast. Uh, Danny says, uh, "Don't think that's a Pikachu." I think that there is a European Pikachu and an American Pikachu, and I think they are different. So that is a that is what in Europe we call a Pikachu, but in America, yeah. it looks I can't remember. It might be we we call it a Wolverine. Or something. Can't remember, but they, it is a Pikachu. It's just a different. Yeah. It's a European one. Is my understanding. Um, Red Planet as well. So I have a. That, you so that are a, literally dragging this out as long as possible, aren't you? Well, I'm, I you know I just want to give the people a chance. Um, <laughs> I've I've lost it. Anyway. But so Red Planet is that. So the, the scientific name for that is Aquapora carduus. And I have an Aquapora Cardius that is called a um, Pac-Man Herlock Acro. And it is stunning bottle brush. Actually, I could have chosen that one. Stunning bottle brush, really nice, pretty coral. Grows so fast you wouldn't believe it, to the point that mine got from mine in the space of like a day, it yeah. was like it taken over my tank. It, in about a year, it'd grown from a one-inch rag to the uh, size of a sucker ball, basically. It yeah. was huge, absolutely massive. And I had to take it out and frag it but it's extremely sensitive. Yeah. So I fragged it and almost all of it stripped. I managed to save really? about three frags, the whole lot of it, the rest of it stripped. How and did you I, frag I, it? With um, uh, coral cutters. I took it out, coral cutters, and I put it in an iodine bath afterwards. And oh. yet the whole thing stripped. Do you, do you, do you think that was a good so, idea? Sometimes iodine. with with some corals. So do you remember last time I said that the, the, with the grafted Montepore, if I use a saw, yeah. uh, the, it, it, like I lose half of it for some reason. I, so with some of the pieces more recently, I've been fragging them in the tank. So I don't even take them out of the tank. I literally yeah, get yeah. the grass from get the bone cutters, cut, 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 cut into loads of pieces, stick them all down. They're all fine. So I wonder if if you had done that. Um, That's what I do most of the time. Yeah. I rarely take them out. It's just that this, and actually I tried to, but when I when I, when I went like that with the, 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 the coral cutters and tried to twist a branch off, the whole thing came off. I was like, oh, right. well, well, look, Jason, Jason's just come into the chat. Whale shark man. Look, whale shark man, you need to turn up at the start. If you want to keep your like status as someone who, you know, we mention regularly, you can't be turning up <laughs> an hour and 40 minutes in. Did you know that a rare shiny whale shark is out there somewhere? A I rare shiny whale Lord. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Anyway. <laughs> so we ended this poll. 
Uh, not yet. I'm still losing. Uh, Sunny Gould says <laughs> iodine stresses acros out. I think. Um, <laughs> this I has think... been going for seven minutes now. All right, all right. I'll end it. Do you, know what's, do you know what has been happening? Like, is I've been watching it. It's been going like one up, one down, one percent up, one percent down, <laughs> yeah, one percent <yeah>. up. <laughs> I got, the closest like, I got was forty-eight fifty-two. It's it's like your your um, supporters are voting, and then my supporters are voting, and then yeah. yours. <laughs> So we finished with 53% Pocky, 46% Ice Fire Echinata. To be it's fair, I think... It's all Coralite, isn't it? This is, is this... Well, you know, depends on what you look at it. Ice Fire Echinata is a niche coral, I think. Yeah. And you don't you don't really see it very often. And it's, it is ridiculously hard to keep. Um, but there we go. So we've, done, we've now done LPS, SPS and Softies. Yeah. Um, how did Pocky win that? Crazy. I agree. Didn't we say we were going to pick a random comment for the from the chat to, as the deciding vote? Because I think we should go with that one. Well, maybe. Um, but so we've now done the three main categories, and we now have a wild card. You get to go so first. This is, you can choose anything, do I? The trouble is, it doesn't really matter because you can't. There's just one. The trouble yeah. with this is, although I'd done my homework for all of it, this was this was the one that I hadn't done. Yeah. And so you said at the start, like two minutes before the stream started. Oh, I think you, we've got the same one. Where well, you said anemone. Yeah. And I and I was like. Rock flower and Emily. Oh God! Have you so chosen that? that? Yes, because that was the one I was going for. So now we both need to think of a mi a miscellaneous coral or I or an enemy. Oh yes, I've just ah yes, Josh, you're the man, clam, yeah, Ooh, yeah, clam, clam. I'm was having. It, is that your? I'm sticking with rock flower and enemy because I said it at the start. Of the what? Stream, no, 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 yeah, no. You that said was the one I. No, I'm not you having just that. you literally just told right. me I gave you the idea when I told you. So I'm going for rock oh, flowers. Officially reserved. I thought you were going to go with a different clam. Oh, Ryan. You, can go, you can go for um, a clam right. if you want. You can go. I, for... I'm, I'm going to find the best goddamn clam. What are they called? Um, Maxima. Maxima clam. You're going to cheat. I'm not cheating. Oh, do you know what? Should have... You Christmas should go for one of those. Man. Oh, that's an interesting choice. You should go for... Is it like the Hippopus, Hippopus clam or something? You should go for that one because they're like boring. <laughs> All oh, right, okay. Rock <laughs> flower anemone. Um, let me You're going to pick one, one that's just brown, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to be fair because this is ah uh, yeah. Here we go. So this is th these are the the, the Tridacna maxima clams, uh, and they are pretty bloody stunning. It oh, it looks a bit blue to me. But uh, some of them are. So that's purple, orangey, goldy kind of thing. Light yeah, blue sure. one. If you, if you see brown as purple, yeah, I agree with you. The only thing is that this is a nice rock flower anemone, pink and yeah. pink and green. Yeah. But most of the in certainly in the UK, the most ones you see are like this. Red yeah, that is true. Or, or green. I've and I have one. one in my tank with a little anemone crab in it that's just it's nice, but it's just red. And it's like, oh, okay. I've got a really nice one. It's the closest one to it is that one with the red with the white and the yellow. Yeah, like um, a raster kind of. Yeah, that's that is basically what it is. I've got one of those. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where? Yeah. I think they come from uh, Jamaica or like um, the Caribbean. The Carib Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. That, there's a pink one. There's one with the pink, the pink edges, the pink lashes with yellow and a blue center. That one looks nice. It's uh, on. Okay. It's, it's on your screen on the right, I think. All right. Uh, and the on. second from the bottom. <laughs> uh, what? What color was it? Sorry. <laughs> down, down. You had it there. Other, other side. Go. No. Other, go back to where you were. Go right. <laughs> what color is it? It's pink lashes with the ye with yellow and the blue center. That. No. Oh, this one. No, it's gone now. Oh, yeah, Doesn't matter. Gone. All right. Anyway. Yeah, that one. That's the one I liked. That's, that's cool. Nice. I bet that is expensive. Reef builders. Let's have a look. Oh, that's yeah. a nice one too. Oh, they're nice. I'm glad they're you chose nice. all these nice ones for the one for the one that I vote. I'm gone for. <laughs> the trouble is, they they you don't see them very often. There you go. Just a bland blue one. How's that? Seth, that is white correct. corals. Seth white corals. Not. Sorry. No, Seth has said they're not corals. They, that is true. They're not corals. This is why it's the mis miscellaneous round. Nor, nor is a clam, exactly. So, yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, the um, what was I going to say? White corals in Germany have rock flower anemones. And yeah. uh, I, I can't buy them anymore. I came very close to buying a couple because they have some really nice yeah, rock yeah. flower anemones. So yeah. check out white corals um, if you live in Europe, which you probably don't, <laughs> unless yeah. you're like 5% of the 
yeah, there'll be yeah, ten percent maybe. But I would. It's a shame that we can't buy from Europe because what I would buy some white coral stuff. Yeah, um, my favorite online coral place. So. I used to buy loads of coral from Europe. That was just, that that literally screwed me, like seriously when with Brexit. It was yeah. just, Brexit happened. I think a week after the coral farm opened, and I yeah. got all my corals from them originally. <laughs> so suddenly you had no. Yeah. I had no suppliers. It worked out in the end, but yeah. Yeah, oh, I saw that yeah, little was... yawn. I, saw that. I, I know, yeah, yeah. You again, aren't I? I've had a long day today. Oh, you know, yeah. And I was up early. You phoned me at like eight. <laughs> yeah, but you were up watching TV. I know. I've been up for an hour. That's why. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Long day, but uh, yeah. it's close. Fifty-one percent. Quick, end the poll. End the poll. Uh, it's fifty-one percent clams, forty-nine percent rock flower anemones, and I am going to wait until Diraj. By the way, I'm random. Su- I am surprised it's that close. I'm slightly surprised. But clams are amazing. I have a Jurassic clam in my uh, in my tank to my left. I reckon this is just a sympathy vote for you. Sympathy vote. They're yeah, like just oh, just let it doesn't matter anymore. Just let him have one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, puff wonders of the reef is also great. Oh yeah, I've, have you seen that? That's yeah, very seen good. It, it's a little bit like of a kids program. Yeah. Which was a bit disappointing, but it's cool. You get to watch a puffer fish, and who I'm sure like it's filmed in fish tanks as well, isn't it? Yeah, they showed at the end of it, they showed yeah. how they did it. And yeah. like obviously a lot of it was because you could see the reef. But uh, some of it, they pulled out a coral, put it in a tank with a load <laughs> yeah. of lighting. and Because they had like, to get oh, the, 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 like the, the time time lapse shot safe. Yeah, I was like, oh, you look, there's some Carib Sea reef rock. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting protein skimmer in the background. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know protein skimmers were wild harvested. I just thought they were yeah. man-made. Yeah, they're yeah. wild caught these cool. days, you don't know. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, um, which I do. Clam- I- I do remember that. I just remember seeing things that I recognised as, yeah, yeah. Um, which from no one else would ever notice. No, no, that's true. It's only us nerds. Um, which clam should a beginner start with? Dorasa clam, 100%. I've yeah, had a yeah, couple yeah. of Maximas, and uh, I've never had much luck with them. I think I probably wasn't giving them enough light because they want a lot of light. But but Dorasas, I've got a Dorasa, it's fine. Give it with clams, whatever you want. <laughs> with clams, the bigger you get, the better. Yes, like, oh, that's true. Yes, because... You see a lot of these little clams, and they're cheap. Great. You love cheap things. Clams, their feeding changes as they get older. So I think if it's under, like, three inches, they need to be fed. And clams can, like... Phytoplankton. Yeah. And they can they can literally filter your whole system in, like, an hour. So it, they're, like, really, really efficient. Whereas the bigger ones, that are sort of three, four inches plus, they are photosynthetic, which means they can be fed from your light. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah. Um, and hang on a second. Does anyone else do their tank maintenance topless, says Drippy Reef Geek? Do you mean <laughs> like naked, half naked? <laughs> I think you do. You're not saying you take the that's weird. You're not saying you take the lid off, you're saying you take your shirt off. I assume that's what you're saying. That sounds yeah. sexual to me, I, Drippy. No, I don't I, I that's got would weird. I have done that before. I don't think so. I've, I like I so if occasionally I have done if I want to get my arm deep in or I roll my sleeve yeah. up because otherwise yeah. 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 So I, I very occasionally, uh, if I'm in the fish room as well, sometimes um, I'll be, I'll, I'll just be completely naked. It's so hot in there. <laughs> just take it, take it all off. So <laughs> now, if sometimes, if so, if I go in the fish room and I'm wearing a jumper or like this, where it's got nothing underneath it, it's just a jumper, and then I all of a sudden I realize I need to do something. I'll take my jumper off. So and then I'll do it. But I'm not in there. I'm not just strolling around there with no clothes on. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, what uh, oh. Tom says? What's I know. Sorry. What Tom says? What's Polo Reef's favorite coral? I'll just text him. Hang on. There we go. I'll he's your, he's your mate, isn't he? He'll text me back in a minute. Um, uh, and someone else asked another question about clams. Uh, what? T- oh yeah. What's the minimum tank size for a clam? I wouldn't want to keep it in the fluval, fifty liter yeah. tank. I do keep it in, and I have kept it in my one hundred and fifty liter water box, two foot cube basically for a year or so and it's been fine so probably 40 gallons plus but the, technically there's no minimum size it's just that you want stable parameters yeah in theory if you you could have as long as your water is absolutely perfect and you get a big enough one that is photosynthetic you can put it wherever you want but yeah it's, if it's not get... stable you'll kill it <laughs> no uh, and uh, james says i like the idea of scantily cad ryan picking my coral wow. so is that what you do you pick corals naked actually i have done that as well before <laughs> I had not not completely naked, but I have done it where I've had no top on. And then Josh said that explains why he's got a, why I got a chest a chest pube 
Uh. in his Frank Cup. <laughs> <laughs> How do you uh. know it was a jest? True. <laughs> oh, that's a point. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if so, if someone comes around to your farm and you go and show them around the coral farm, you yeah, do it I, naked. I, I basically get like. What do down. you use to point at corals? Um. Well, I can't be using what you're suggesting. It's just corals, <laughs> so, hey. like, yeah. When I mean, you got a micro like me, you know, you got you. Uh, you have to use one of those little like plastic pointer things, acrylic rods. Uh, and uh, Ethan Ferris says, Alex, your camera keeps zooming in and out. That's a bit naked annoying. coral, man. Not, there not is some, isn't there someone who does, who has a naked insta, like a naked reefer or something? Uh, not that I'm sure, might be. I'm I don't sure know. there is. He's on Instagram. Um, I'm going to end the poll because I've lost. Yippee! Fifty three percent. The sad thing is, these actually do mean comments. something to us, don't they? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to cry about it, <laughs> but no, yeah, no, but, it, but, but I, we I, actually I did, care. I would have liked to have won, and yet yeah. I've lost. I've got absolutely hammered. So I'm still annoyed that <sighs> I didn't win the last one when I clearly had the better taste in fish. No, 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 no. Um, so I make that. I won two. Does that mean eight two? Bloody hell! Yeah, eight two. Yeah. That's bad. Just casual. Yeah, eight two. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So I suck at corals. But I mean, you, you're a professional coral seller, so you had an unfair advantage. Oh, so wow. Really... You're going around the world professional a bit, a bit like <laughs> yeah. laxly there, aren't you? Really, I think what we should do is knock your knock like six off your total because you had an unfair advantage and put six on my total. That maybe? would be possibly, yeah, that's that would that would work. Congratulations, Ryan. Oh, thanks. Everyone, everyone say me congratulations. So why those is, aren't why, those pictures. Why aren't, is everyone what? picturing me walking around the oh. coral farm? Because <laughs> <laughs> you said you do it naked. So those pictures behind you aren't uh, Ryan in the coral farm. No, no. Actually, this one, not this one, this one, you know, that looks that's a pre accurate representation, but I don't have these. So that's us. Awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. So, wow. I mean, disappointing defeat i my tasting curls sucks i could i reckon i could have actually squeezed out the nine one as well if i'd actually put some effort in and walked into the coral farm <laughs> yeah to be fair if i'd have thought about it i think i would have won so. oh yeah sure, <laughs> sure. sure. yeah uh congratulations everyone says you, congratulations Ryan. you would have had to have thought about it an awful lot to have won <laughs> Oh, yeah, I should. I, yeah all right all right all right, all right. <laughs> anyway wh when's that trophy coming uh, I think the trophy is that you get to show your biceps. No, no, the Prestige Reef Dog trophy. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get one made. The Prestige Reef Dog so, Cup. Yes. Yeah. Mm, interesting. I thought of a. I thought of an interesting idea the other day, okay. and I tried to get a way to work it out. Like, but we both pick fish. You know, you get all like AI art now, don't you? Yeah. You, you can type yeah. something in, and it will draw a picture for you. Yeah. We both pick a fish. And we, you know, you you can't say yellow tank because it won't know what that is. But you can describe. You can write yellow marine Mackerel. fish. <laughs> yes, maybe. And then we, I will show you a picture, and you show me a picture, and we have to try and guess what fish it is based on the drawing, the AI drawing. I think it would be like fun to do. You you don't quite get this concept at the moment. I uh, sh show me. It sounds like it wouldn't work to me. Why not? I don't know. It, if 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 I typed in red fish with blue stripes. <laughs> And, and and then it came up with a weird looking red. You might be able to guess it was a flame angel from the colours. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And Mark Swan says three D print the cup. That's a brilliant. I've got some gold um, and That's silver true. filament. There you go. See, the, oh, yes. they, so often brilliant idea. We Mark. get great yeah. ideas from the chat. Yeah, we do. Oh, excellent. Oh, God. Oh, I can't wait to pry. I'm going to go Google 3D printed trophy now. <laughs> and you get a trophy that's this big, though, 3D printed. No, I've, I, it's about six inches is, uh, way, is, the, is the biggest I can uh, I can print. Yeah. Um, well. But there we go. Oh, Actually, yes, can, can we have it like the ashes? You know, where it's like a little tiny cup? Yeah, a little urn. Yeah. There you go. How's that? Sounds good. Can we, how, what are we going to have written on it, though? A prestige, I don't know. Prestige Reef Cup. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think if we can get logos on it. Because I could print, I could print one for every one we do, so we could stack them up and you know. Oh, you look know. at that! Look, anyway. you just like <laughs> casually dishing out tr trophies. I know. Um, all right. Well, there we go. Uh, I think that's 
that's it basically we that's i'm disappointed to have lost of course but we've there was nothing else we've done the news at the start uh and there's nothing else that i had to talk about ryan before we wrap it up was there anything else you wanted to say no no I don't. <laughs> that's a very blunt i was reading the comments right. nope <laughs> uh i'll tell you what let's have a chat with people in the chat yeah we got we got five minutes haven't we Put, if you've got questions, fire yeah. away and we will ask, answer them. Um, Reef Dork, so uh, to, to keep a small clam, would you recommend setting up with a doser with phytoplankton? I think the better answer is don't buy a small clam. <laughs> True. It, even True. if you set up, even if you manage to, if you just pump in phytoplankton all the time, you're, you're the not cost, just going to be feeding the clam. Yeah, it's, it's not worth the effort. No. Like there's there's some things where they just shouldn't be collected. If the, it should say clams below four inches, don't collect them. I don't think I think the small ones aren't collected. I think they're wild bred, and because oh, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. What, what I think they're captive bred, and yeah, I think the the reason because they, they, it costs so much money to get them to a certain yeah. stage, they have to get them out. But I agree, yeah. they they should just get them to three inches long, or yeah. however big it is, and then sell them. Yeah. Just very quickly going back to that AI idea, because mm -hmm. last week I mentioned something, and then people in the comments, I tried to find a program mm -hmm. to make this work, and I did, I couldn't find anything. So someone mentioned a minute ago, there's loads of programs. If there's a really good AI program which you think will work, email me, and I'll have a look at it, um, okay. or message me, because I think this would be a fun idea, but it has to has to work. <laughs> Do you know what? So there, there's a few there's a few things there. This just stood out to me. Reef oh. meat somewhere, question mark, says Blue Oval Neil. Do you know what yeah. I thought of the other day? I was watching, a, there's a YouTube channel called Colin and Samir. Yeah. And they talk, they, do, they talk about the creator economy, yeah. basically just making money on YouTube, that sort of thing. It's just really yeah. interesting insight. Um, and they said that they did this thing um, not long ago where they just met up. They, they went to a, a coffee shop. Yeah. They're American. They, met, they went to a coffee shop and they just posted and said, we're going to be in this coffee shop on this day at this time come along if you want and there was like half a dozen people turned up yeah and they just said they had a really nice time just chatting yeah what do you think what, you don't do you oh well you want me and well, i have to yeah, go yeah. somewhere with you yeah oh. I'll, I'll, I'll come over to fake them <laughs> oh, oh so now people are having a reef meet at my house <laughs> all right we'll do that great you heard it here first okay so guys i'll put the address in the uh, in the comment section <laughs> jamie's reef um, has been <laughs> pushing for this for so long and i might do this where i will have 10 <clears> people <throat> in the summer 10 that's it this is a very exclusive club um, to, to maybe party, have a barbecue, barbecue or something. Yeah, yeah I'd do yeah. a barbecue. You couldn't have That's 10 people. Look, like, like, Jay, like, JV is in the comments right now. He was literally pushing it yesterday going, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> I will do it on the condition that someone else does the barbecuing and all 10 people bring their wallets full of cash. <laughs> Those... The, and you'll all drink. I guess. Well. I mean, I'll, I'll bring cash. You know, I'm not going to leave any of it behind. But that's fine. That's good. It's uh, no, it doesn't have to be cash. Just what I'm saying is, you all bring wallets full of like money to spend. Is yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No hangers um, on. Basically, if you're there, it's a, it's a, it's basically it's a three hundred pound entry. You've got to buy corals. Or if you buy a coral, the entry is free. You get the yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, I um, what was I going to say? Uh, so I, I will talk about that. Uh, what was I going to say? Question. This is what I really want to answer this question. To, do you use moonlighting? I would guess I would put money on the fact that you don't use moonlighting on your tank, right? I think I do, but I don't. I didn't choose to put it on there. I just it's just you have you program. have light on overnight. Yeah, I think so. Ah, you disappoint me. Only no, on some I of the tanks. It's just part of the AI thing. I think the thing. Uh, no, no, they're not no, the AI, the Ecotech. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm disappointed. Oh, it's not me. not the whole night, not the whole night. But if I go in there at like I don't right. know midnight, some of the lights will be on a really really little tiny okay. amount. So I, think I just be... I don't get why you would have a moonlight. All some people have it on all night. I just don't get that. No, because like, because people say, oh yeah, but the ocean has the moon. It's like well, no. you're not trying to recreate the ocean. Either. Anyway, um, there's just there's, I, I asked for <laughs> questions and then we got a thousand and now I can't. <laughs> Can't, it's can't not just that. What I've, what I've noticed is this is the reason I can't do a meetup at my house because look how many people are going, I'll, I'll come, I'll do the barbecue, I'll bring the drinks and I'll buy car and everything. You'd have so, a thousand people, yeah. Um, the first person then, Bradley Coughlin, says, uh, uh, how many fish could you get in an 85-litre tank? Not many. Four, no. maybe? Yeah. 
they'd have to be sort of clownfish size well not very big um that's true being three reefer as a policeman he can come and keep everyone organized oh yeah okay. basically arrest, no, arrest everybody. Stuff, no getting no when you're drunk no pissing on the toilet seat <laughs> so <laughs> so if uh yeah being free reefer he's now got official invite so that he can he can police it okay interesting um very good and uh now everybody, oh, there's, there's too many. You should come to uh, uh, American reef shows. You go to them, don't you? Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I am considering another one. Just every so often, I like going. Just it, it's kind of just an experience. It's a memory. It's something different to just day to day life. So I am boring you so much. You can't stop yawning, just, can you? Just tired. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, I, I would love to do it, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Why not? because it's, it's like it's, it's say I, say look look mrs reef dog i'm gonna put my yeah. big boy pants on and me yeah, and ryan exactly. are going to florida yeah well that's the just me going on my own or as in with you no chance forget it Why? i can't just i can't say oh darling i'm going to america for a week just yeah. tell her you're going to cornwall no. for a week she won't want to come <laughs> um <laughs> but i could i potentially go with her uh but i don't, just go to america and then Ooh, no women Spending three days with your missus, uh, uh, like dragging your missus along because don't she'd enjoy it to an extent, but not for no, as much I would as not I would like it. I'm days. not competing with your <laughs> okay. with your partner for your attention. Okay, fair enough. It's probably not going to happen. I would say. Uh, anyway, I, I'm clearly I'm yawning too much now, so I think that's a sign that we should wrap it up. Will Will said we'd end up in Vegas. I did end, last time I went to Florida. I did end up in Vegas, like without realizing. <laughs> Without realizing, I wasn't okay. planning to go there with a hurricane, so I was like, eh, Let's go to Vegas. Cool, yeah, I'll be up for that to be fair. Um, anyway, we're gonna wrap up, uh, and okay. I'm gonna get, probably fall asleep straight away. So, uh, <laughs> the, the, the podcast will go live in about an hour's time, maybe two hours. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys, and thank you for voting and joining in. Disappointed to lose to Ryan, but I yeah! guess. <laughs> here we go congratulations ryan uh Thank thoroughly you, well deserved you had some fantastic choices to be fair um and yours were uh, mostly average which is why you lost ah oh, god just can't <laughs> help himself can he <laughs> all right cheers all right. for coming along as always ryan and yeah. i'll catch you all later see you guys see you later Bye. Bye.